And that whole time I was muted. Again, I do that every single time. Um, so, yeah. Just to recap what I just went over. <laughs> uh, we're still trying to figure out where we're going to play. Um, we're, I think we're either playing uh, Tabletop Simulator. Or we are playing um, Magic the Gathering. Never played either. I pretty much steered clear of both. Um, sorry about the no background. Since we couldn't decide, I didn't download anything yet. Um, but yeah. But yeah, Pat, if you didn't hear me before, if you're still in here, uh, I can't wait for that meeting tomorrow. <laughs> uh That'll be fun. At least my uh, one-on-one got pushed back, so I don't have to deal with that now. So I think that's now on Thursday or Wednesday. Who knows? But uh, yeah, we're going to jump over to Mortimer Nova's channel because whatever we're playing, we're, we're, we are multiplaying with him. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go over and watch him for a minute. Going to enlarge his thing here. There we go. I learned that today. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Uh, let me. Uh, we can't see the uh, chat. Let's see if we can see his chat. Alright, I want to do it one more time. I, want, I know I said that was the last time, but I want to do it one more. I can't figure out how to actually get it to show his chat. Maybe because it's too wide or something. See you, pet. Have a good one. Ah, now who's king of the cup? Oh shit! He's already at this part again. Oh fuck! I didn't even. Damn it! It wasn't even a break. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? I think he's getting what angry. One more time. <laughs> he is not giving up. Huh. I cannot figure out how to get the chat to come up. Oh. Nope, that's not it. That's kind of weird. I'm guessing it's just because the window is so small. The dogfish suck because there's like literally nothing else you can do while they're out. You just have to go back and try to fucking avoid them. I and mean, even with these stupid ass fucking uh, jerk off squid, like you can still attack. It's not like you're just pinned to the back. It's not like you just have the horses in the back. Yeah, give me a second time. That would be swell. That would be swell. Uh oh, my time is fucked up on that. Fuck! I hate this game. I hate it. <laughs> then why play? I hate it. One more time. Why? Why? Why the abuse? Ugh. I want to beat this pirate so bad. More than I've ever wanted to beat any other pirate before. And, uh, yeah. 
that's including the pirate from that one Assassin's Creed game, Black Flag. So, Spike is hype. And that's including, uh, that, uh, pirate genie game, uh, whatever her name is. I wanted to beat that, too. Uh, but this pirate, this pirate is especially loads. Yeah, I did the rap boss already. The, the Nazi rap or whatever the fuck is going on there. I guess I should have played something in the meantime while we waited. But I know, as soon as I jump into it, whatever I would pick else to pick to play, I'd get it going and then I'd have to jump back out again. That's the way it always happens. I love it. I love it when the triggers work with the team. Give up. Give up. That's it. I can't take anymore. <laughs> say what did you say but obviously obviously we don't want to go down that road again all right let's go to the tabletop let's go all the way to the top all the way to the uh, top all right jumping into scored so we can actually talk in real time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hello Greetings. <laughs> Thanks for the game. You are welcome. I super appreciate it. Stuff, it is my most played Steam game. Nice. I have actually never played a tabletop game. Like, you've never played Monopoly? or Well, not like current, current tabletop game. Well, yeah, I guess I have. Password is Pong, P O N G. Okay. I guess Mort won't know that. I should probably Sweet. tell him. All right. What I want. Right, I'm getting salt. Gato. Have to bear with me here for un momentito. Ooh, do I do I want to do a tutorial? I assume not. Uh, yeah, you can skip awesome. it. I'll tutorialize both of you. Okay. Sounds hot. Uh, Sounds hot. probably not. It's probably a lot of words. <laughs> okay. Sounds. So you picked up Vermintide and Killing Floor. It did. So you picked up Vermintide and nice. Floor. Oh, why do I have a thing going on here? Give me a second to figure out why I've got. Why do I have a thing going on here? Give me a second to figure out why I've got. Watch out. Is killer. Like for some reason, I can still hear your stream feeding in. I can still hear your stream feeding in. They own Twitch. Yeah, but I closed Twitch and it's oh, still there. I own Twitch. All right. No, no, I own, I own Twitch. I I make the rules. Wait, you're no, Jeff no, Bezos? I own, I own Twitch. I I make the Bezos. Rules. Is it Bezos? Bezos. The, they call me the Bees Man. All right, I got it. They call you the, the Bees Knees. They call me the Bees Knees. 
All right, tabletop stimulator. <laughs> so is this this is a massage based game? Uh, pretty much. Uh, I can bring in some massage massage objects. Just uh, I'll place them around the table here. All right, let me figure out what's going on with this thing. I accepted your invite. And I'm not, I don't see it now. I think that, you wouldn't. I think a tutorial thing of interfered with it. Okay, now let me invite you again. Wait to lobby. Here, these are massage things, right? What'd you say the password was? Pong, P O N G. Nice. La, 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 la. All right, everything's loaded up for you guys. All right, you see the plumbuses hanging yep. around? Sure do. There they are. All right, uh, WASD moves you around. Pretty, pretty useful. Uh, mouse wheel zoom in and out. Uh, right click is kind of adjust your viewing angle. So that'll be pretty helpful. Um, the one you'll want the most usually is holding alt over a card or object will make it big. Oh, nice. So you don't have to like zoom in on the table to look at it. What, what was zoom in and out again? Uh, mouse wheel. Gotcha. That makes sense. Uh, left click and uh, hold will pick up stuff. Okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and move these plumbus plumb plumbi. I don't know. Move <laughs> those out of the way. Uh, and then we can... maybe you can't. Well, no, I guess never mind. Never mind. Just ignore me. Don't... Just ignore the things that I'm about to say. Somebody what talking. Uh, Dude. <laughs> so we can get I'm started with this uh, game. This game is pretty simple, so it's going to just teach you how to like interact with cards and move things around a bit. Um, Before we start, oh, um, what's a card? Uh, it's, it's, do, it's a do you have any threes? I see two threes out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, so in this game, we are both the adventurers and the dungeon at the same time you kind know of. it There's, yeah, it's kind of like a schrodinger's thing where no one is like we're both of them and none of them at the same time until eventually someone becomes the uh the champion or the the hero is this this is going to require me to get a beer uh first things first we have to choose which hero we want to use the warrior is probably the easiest the mage is definitely the hardest. Uh, barbarian and rogue are like in between. The barbarian. Conan! All right. So we'll move these other ones off to the side. They're not going to be used for these games. <laughs> what is game? What, what is, is keyboard? Game? <laughs> All right. So the barbarian has a couple of pieces of equipment here. Uh, and then there's a dungeon deck, which is full of monsters. The monsters are between one and nine. The makeup of the deck itself is actually shown on this card over here. So if you hold alt over that, you'll see that there's two ones, two twos, two threes, but there's only one, six, seven, and nine. The little symbols next to them, don't worry about that. That just kind of tells you in a shorthand how to kill them, but it's all written on these cards over here. So, hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm. what would happen if I were to accidentally flip the table? Uh, this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can just reset, so. Well, you're welcome, chat. You're welcome. Now you all know. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have that option uh, turned on. Oh, I do. So, yeah, you guys can flip the table at any time. Man, the smashy city came so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
so just to explain how this game works, what you're going to be doing is on your turn, you're going to draw a card. Uh, you're going to, in order to draw a card, you'll just click and drag off the top of the deck uh, relatively quickly. If you spend too long clicking on the deck, you pick up the whole deck, which you don't want to do. Gotcha. So just click and drag one card off. Um, you'll click a card, and then if you hold Alt and Shift, you will use what's called a peek, which means you'll see the other side of the card. So if you want to try that on this one. Oh, shit, that works on all cards. Yeah, it'll work on anything. Wait, how, uh, do, how did you do the peak? Did peak. Uh, alt you... and shift at the same time. So alt, alt will shift. make it big, and then shift will show you the other side of the card. When you hover your, your cursor over it. There you go. Wow. So that's the deck. The card's over here. Okay. So you're going to take a card off the top of the deck. You're going to peek at it to know what it is. And then you have two options. You can either add it to the dungeon, which will make the dungeon harder, or you will move it off to the side next to you, and you will steal a piece of the uh, barbarian's equipment, and they no longer will have that piece of equipment when they go into the dungeon, thus making the dungeon harder. So basically your options are make the dungeon harder or make the dungeon harder. Okay, so that's one thing you can do on your turn. The other thing you can do on your turn is say, I think the dungeon is too hard. I'm out. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just, I'm not going to go in this round. Uh, once two people do that, though, in this case, because we're a three-player game. So let's say we add a card to the dungeon. We add a card to the dungeon. Uh, someone steals one of these things. Add a card to the dungeon. Mort takes the shield away. Uh, we add one more card to the dungeon, and then I'm like, I don't think that I can beat this dungeon if I were to be the barbarian at this point. I'd be, I'm out. Let's say Dakaris follows suit and says, I'm out. Suddenly, Mort, you are now the barbarian because the other two people have passed. So it's kind of like a press your luck sort of thing. Is that making sense? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to remember all of that, but yeah. So, it'll make sense once we start playing. Just know that your choices are make the dungeon harder or get out. And once everybody but you has gotten out, then you become the person who goes into the dungeon. So at this point, Mort will go through the dungeon one card at a time. So he'll flip the top card over. And this is a two. Now, normally, if it was... Just this, it would do two damage to him out of his four HP. So he would write that on the table like that. So he's got two health left. However, he has an item here, the torch. If you hover over that torch and hold alt, you can see that it says defeat monsters with strength three or less. And he gotcha. has less than three, so he is dead. So you wouldn't actually use that's this. like all the time. What's that? One time yeah. use that's, that's an all the time thing. This is an all-the-time thing if he has it. But remember, one of the things you can do is take things away. So if, if somebody took that away, then that would no longer be a thing he can do. Okay, we flip over the next card. It's a three. Turn. Uh, no, just the, the whole thing. So we flipped over a three now, so the torch kills that guy as well, because that's three or less. We flip over the next one. That's dead. And we flip over the next one. That's a six. Um, Mort doesn't have anything to stop this, so he would take six damage. He's got a total of four from his Barbarian and four from this chainmail, which gives HP. So he'd be down to two, but there's no more monsters in the deck. So that means that Mort wins. Mort would get a victory thing. And if you get two victory things, you win. Let's say that Mort didn't win. Let's say Mort lost. What would happen is he'd flip his card over, which shows that he's wounded. And if you get wounded twice, you're out of the game. OK. OK. It'll make more sense as we go along, but let me explain the other cards really quick. We have the shield, which gives you 3 HP. It's pretty boring. Uh, we have the torch, which we already went over. Uh, we have the war hammer, which uh, kills number fives. So if there's a number five in the dungeon somewhere, uh, where'd it be? One of these guys, it'll just kill him. Uh, you have the vorpal axe, which says, you flip over a monster and you're like, I can't defeat this monster, it's dead. But that's only once per dungeon. So you use this once and then it's gone. And the last thing you have is your healing potion here, which says when you die, you come back to life with your barbarian's HP and you skip the current monster. 
This is very nice uh, mustache you got going on there. <laughs> uh, that that's not a mustache. <laughs> oh, no, totally mustache. <laughs> All right, so let's reset this. <laughs> And we can get started. So we'll unwound Mort. And then who wants to go first? Hello, yes, it is our it is my first time playing tabletop. Or well uh That sounds like simulator. wants to go first. Oh crap. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Alright. So Dakari will go ahead and take that top well, assuming you don't want to leave because you think the dungeon's too strong already, with no cards in it. Uh, you'll take that top card off to the side. Nope. Just the whole. We'll just need to take the whole deck. No, take the top card. Click and drag click, really Click quick. it in the quick swipe. Yeah. There you go. And then Alt Shift to look at it. And then you have to decide do you want to add that to the dungeon to make it tougher, or do you want to take away a piece of equipment from the barbarian? So I want to make it tougher? Well, you're going to make it tougher one way or the other. It just it matters how you're going to make it tougher. Are you going to just add that number straight into the deck of like the dungeon, or are you going to take away one of the Barbarian's tools to defeat monsters? We will take one of the tools. Okay, That's... so you pick which tool you want to take away. And then it's Mort's turn. Okay. I've missed an important step here. So, so it's first game. It's first game. I'm going to ask questions, even if it yeah. means that I'm going to screw sure. up here. So, so you, you um, have a number there. Don't tell me what the number is. Do you want to add that to the I dungeon, do. make the dungeon harder? Or do you want to take away a piece of the barbarian's equipment, which will essentially make the dungeon harder? Um, let me just look at everything out here. Sure. Choose wisely. Take Adding the away. monster to the dungeon is usually a good play because you'll know what the card is in the dungeon, so you know a better, you know how tough it is. But okay, you know, taking uh, away the torch is good too. All right, so it's my maybe. turn. So I will throw that in. Then it's your turn, to Karis. All right. And what, I'm picking one of these cards here again? So you can either uh, make the dungeon harder, or you can be like, no, the dungeon's too hard. I don't want to go through that. Those are your options. Making the dungeon harder means you'll draw a card and look at it. And then, again, decide whether it goes in. When do we dungeon. actually run the dungeon? When, when everybody but one person says, no, the dungeon's too hard, I'm passing. Gotcha. I don't know it's like this... a game of it's like a game of chicken. You're like, ooh, we're gonna make it harder. We're gonna make it harder. We're gonna make it hard. I'm out. Like, <laughs> how how am I supposed to know what? Uh, yeah. How am I supposed to, like? Alt Shift to look at the bottom of the card. Oh, that's right. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Not that one though. That's the card that is you've already done. You want to look at this card? Oh, I thought I was. Oops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. So, what are my options again? Your options are remove a piece of equipment or add it to the dungeon for the things that the barbarian has to fight. Mm -hmm. I'd probably just add it to the dungeon, but... All of them or just one? You, just, you can only do the one. You've already decided for, for this pair. This is already done. You can't take that back. All right, but if I like that card? It, it doesn't matter. It's gone. Oh. So if I just drew, drew it, why is it gone? No, th this card uh -huh. is... Do you want this to go into the dungeon to make it harder, or do you want to take away a piece of equipment from the barbarian oh. to make it harder? Yeah, sure. All right, we'll do that. Let me see what. I can take that and throw it over there. Yep. So now that barbarian doesn't have that anymore. Okay. So now the barbarian has just this equipment here. Okay. Um. Okay, so then we've got something here. One one single card in the dungeon. The worst it could and be is a dragon, have... which is a nine. Which means that... It's 11 uh, HP right now. 
Yeah, the Barbarian's guaranteed to, to beat it currently. Okay. So, Mort, you'll draw a card. All right, I'll just slap that bad boy right onto the dungeon there. Oh, okay. My turn. I think I'm starting to get it now. Go ahead and put that there. So now there's three things in the dungeon and just this equipment here. Splatty. All right. More, here you oh, go. Yeah. All right, so my go. Yep, your go. <clears throat> Get my card. I'm sorry, I'm such a terrible host. Would any of you like a Coke? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'd like, um, a, I'd like a Sprite. That's better. I want to... I kind of want to get out on this one. Um, okay, so if you push E on your card, that'll rotate it. E and Q e. rotate the card. Just to, Pass. like, signify that you're out. So. All right, my turn. Uh, I'm going to take another look at a card. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. And then, Dakaris, your turn. So there's five cards in. Oh. So if it's a tough card... I want to keep it or get rid of it? It depends on whether or not you're trying to go through the dungeon yourself or you're trying to get someone else killed. Gotcha. All right. You can't take away the barbarian's face. That's gotcha. not a card you can take away. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> just here's a pile of equipment that will go through the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to see what these were. Yeah, yeah. So right now, this Barbarian just has a whole bunch of hit points, essentially. Okay. All right. And then I will pass as well. So now, since me and Mort have both passed, uh, Dakaris, you have to go through the dungeon. Okay. Um, the, dungeon we, the dungeon is we just flip over the dungeon deck like this. And the first thing you fight is a five. So if you had that Warhammer that you uh -huh. took away from before, you would just kill it. But you don't, so you take five damage. So you're at, uh, you've taken five damage out of your seven. And we go to the next card, two. So you're dead. Uh, but you have this healing <laughs> potion, which reses you back to full HP, which is not this, but only the uh, only the four base HP you have. Only the four. Yep. And you go to the next one, and you're dead. I still kind of didn't quite understand that. So I thought these were now my cards over here. No, 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 no. We're all playing with the cards in the center. We're all betting on whether or not, essentially, we can go through the dungeon with what the Barbarian still has left. So so what's my hit points? It's whatever the Barbarian has at the time that you go in. Wait. So in this... So in I this thought that's case, his hit points. You, you are the Barbarian. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was the We're opposite. All, we're all the barbarian. You you don't you are not a person. You are betting on this person to beat the dungeon. Okay, I was going in the opposite direction on that one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you, you you want you usually like it depends. So you can want the barbarian to fail, but that means you have to make sure that you get out before everyone else but does. If we want the barbarian to fail, that would be us then. Uh yeah. Unless you pass, when you pass, you're saying I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm leaving. One of you two can be the barbarian, right? Okay. It's a game of a game of chicken. Sure. You're making things harder and harder and harder until everybody but one person thinks it's too hard, and then that person goes in and actually sees if they win. Okay. Making a little bit of sense. A little bit. Okay. Let's try again. We'll Do we have Texas Hold'em in this game? Uh, yes. <laughs> I feel like uh, that game is more my speed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's start over. Um, Mort, you want to go first? So 
So Mark's making the dungeon harder by adding a monster. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add a monster myself. Now it's your turn. Here by adding a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is Pepsi. Oh, shit, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Mort. Hmm. All right, Dakaris. So there's a lot of monsters now. Well, just take the whole deck, but um, <laughs> there's a lot of monsters now, but the barbarian also has all of his equipment. So Let me look at the backside of this Vorpal Axe. So who won the last game? Uh, you lost the last game. Which so, is, okay. You're wounded. But so no one wins, only someone loses. Well, no, you can win. If the Barbarian gets through the whole dungeon, then you'll get a victory card. And if you get two of these, you win. Whereas if you get wounded twice, then you're dead. This, you're is, some, this is some thinking I have to get used to. Oh, Brain work, <laughs> right? Uh, take away this chain mail. All right, your turn, Dakaris. That's that's a big a Pepsi. <laughs> New Pepsi thick. <laughs> All right. Your turn, Mort. There's seven monsters in the dungeon. Oh, I just rotated. Oh, you're out? Uh, I just rotated myself out. Okay. Uh, I will also rotate. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, again, to carry as you're going through, so we'll flip over the deck. You first start with a three, but you kill the three because you have the torch, right? So that's dead. Hey, look, that guy's dead, too. You have a five, which would hurt really bad, except for you have the Warhammer, which defeats the Golem. So that's dead. Six, you kind of have to take the six. So that's six damage. Two is dead. Five is dead. Two is dead. You have victoriously beaten the dungeon. So you get a victory point. Nice. Sweet. That, that, that's how it done, y'all. <clears throat> that is how it done. That's pure skill. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> you, you, you won. I know. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. Totally uh, going to plan. <laughs> since you went into the dungeon, you now get to uh, go in. Uh, you start. <clears throat> All uh, right. No matter whether you lost or won. I pick a card. Uh, yep. Yeah. Same as always. Uh, why? Why? Why aren't you flipping over? Oh, I'm holding the wrong key. That's why. Ooh. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, 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 wait, is this considered a weapon? Huh? They're, they're all equipment, so you can take any of the equipment except for the barbarian's actual okay. base. I want that too. All right, more at your turn. I'm going to drink this flat Coke. What happened to it? It's flat. It lost <laughs> all its fear. Hmm. All right. What's this? Yep, that's going to stay in the dungeon. Your turn, Doug Harris. All right, Mort. Hmm. 
That'll go in. Go in. I don't like sand. That is a big ass water bottle. Look at this. <laughs> Let me see. This is a water bottle my wife just got, if anybody could see this. Nobody's by watching my stream, so if you could see it, this is how big this one is. I, I, I would I would watch your stream, but it's kind of cheating it, to know what cards you're it's getting. Gallon. It's a gallon. Yeah. It's a gallon with a spout on the top. That is holy that, shit. That's really good. See it? <laughs> oh, oh man, the, the top is yeah, the, yeah, the top is uh, greened up because of the uh, green screen. Here, maybe I can do. This. Nope, doesn't work either. Oh well. <laughs> That's funny. Awesome. Yeah. Wait a second, you can add music into this? Uh, yeah. It's kind of weird because you kind of have to host it. All right. Uh, you know what? That should be. Oh. Ah, crap. <clears throat> oh, what the heck? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Press the freaking button. Oh, I get it. My go? Yep, here we go. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. That's too much. Too much. <sighs> Holy shit. Uh... Yeah. Brian, enjoy. All right. Who's doing it? You, you're doing it. Oh, I still have to go another round? No, 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 no. You, you're going through the dungeon now. So right. uh, to flip over the cards, hover over that stack and push F for flip. All right, there's your first one. So before you do anything, remember that you have this, where you can use it to kill any one monster, but you only get to use it once for the entire dungeon. Oh, okay. So seven will instantly kill you. You'll be brought back to four if you do it now, or you can kill that guy. You murder him? Yep. All right, he murdered. So now you take two damage. You take five damage. That's seven, so you're dead. So now you only have four health, which you're dead. Damn. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, the dungeon. Set this. Well, uh, missing this card and this card and this. Card. You say this thing does have music or does not have music? And add music. Like it said something about. Oh, you do not have permission to interact with the music player. That sucks. Of course, it probably get demonetized anyways or DMCA'd. Probably. It's it's because it's only the the host. So like I can. Yeah. Uh, I can start a song or something. Hey, Mega Butt Smasher, how are you doing today? How was okay. work? Okay. Uh, so now we've played a couple rounds. Um, you do have the option to uh, uh, to change characters. So whoever went into the dungeon, whether they win or lose, can change characters if they want. So we've been playing with the Barbarian, but there's also the Mage, the Warrior, and the Rogue. If you wanted want to go them. and use one of the characters that have lower HP. <laughs> uh, it's up to oh. Dick Harris, So. Oh, it's up to me? Yeah, if you want to switch, because you were the last person to go into the dungeon. So. Oh, man, let's... Oh, whoops. 
You can there always you stay as the barbarian if you want, or you can switch over. The mage is probably the hardest one. Uh, warrior is the easiest. Rogue is in between. Kind of the same strength level as the barbarian. Uh, I'll say barbarian. All right. So I'll shuffle this up, and then you're first. As you went through the dungeon. Okay. Uh oh, what did Andrew do? You said I was first? Yeah, you're first. Gotcha. Uh, hmm. Oh, crap, I zoomed in too far. And don't forget WASD lets you move around. Okay. It makes it a lot uh, yeah, I think about that. Maneuver. You're true. Already? Uh, Mort's turn. What have you done to these cokes? It's very tiny. I made an itty bitty. Itty bitty bitty. <clears throat> um... Did uh, you know who put their two weeks notice in yet? Uh, we'll leave that in. Day my stream. Whoops. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, did Karis your turn? Ready. Mort. Hey, right back. I just realized that I didn't update my stream title. One second here. Whoops, I do. Oh, okay. Like, this isn't Cuphead at all. Yep. Who's that Pokemon? E it's Mr. Mime. Not Cuphead. It's always Mr. Mime. Or it's always Ditto, if you think about it. Oh, is it Ditto? It's always Ditto. It's always How did Ditto. You know? It was Ditto. It's your turn, Mort. Uh, You're still looking for stuff. Yeah, That's no, I'm just thing. finishing setting up something in OBS. Okay, my bad. Oh, Sorry. Okay. I, I saw your cursor keep moving around. So it's Are you the only one that can actually bring objects oh, really? out? Uh, no, I can promote you guys. Oh. And then you should be able to do that. Yeah, we, we, we probably don't deserve that kind of responsibility. No, it's, no, it's, it's a lot know. of responsibility. <laughs> Because if you load a game, then it'll it'll erase everything. So don't don't load a game, but you can load in objects. Uh -huh. uh, okay, my turn. We'll go ahead and take away Dama. Your turn, Dakaris. Three butt penises, my my. What? These are plumbuses. Uh, oh, is that what it? Is that what it's calling penises? Uh, is it my go? Uh, I don't know. Did you did you go to Karis? Yeah, I already went. Oh, he's. And I am out of this game. Well, you don't get to be out until uh, back your turn, because whoever made it the most dangerous, right? Like if you if you put in the final thing that's going to kill everybody, and then everyone else passes, you have to do it. That's why it's a game of chicken. Somebody did it before last time. Well, they cheated. <laughs> Mort. How? What? What? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember what we're talking about here. God damn it, Ditto vape this. <laughs> I 
Nice. I'm out. I'm out. All right. Uh, okay. You're in. Uh, let's see. Wait, you can use the Vorpal Axe to defeat it. No, you're just going to take one. Okay. Ah, dang, yeah, I'm just going to take one. What about five? You're going to take um, five? There's a Vorpal Axe on that one. And you'll use it on him. He's dead. Yeah. Then you take two, and then you're dead. God. How do I turn my car over? F for flip. Oh, fl flip. Yep. Somebody's vape is burning. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, God. All right. Oops. Uh, where is it? There it is. No. Get out of there. All right, uh, Mort, you went in, so you're first. Or, well, first you can choose to change characters if you want. Um, you're in. Warrior. Okay. Is there a quick way to rotate cards? Uh, if you look on the top right of the screen, there's a thing that probably says 15 degrees, and you can click on it to change it to 90. Ah, perfect. And then oh, look at that. Like, That's great. Tapping in magic. All right. So warrior has a couple different things than the uh, uh, barbarian. Uh, he has a torch, same as the barbarian. He has a vorpal sword, which is like uh, it's different. So we'll go after that in a second. So you have torch, which is like the same thing. Uh, Holy Grail defeats even numbered monsters. He's got his two obligatory health gaining cards. He has the Dragon Spear, which kills the number nine card, the dragon. And then he has the Vorpal Sword. The Vorpal Sword is a little different than the Vorpal Axe. The way the Vorpal Sword works is you name a number, so like let's say four, and then as you go through the dungeon, uh, you'll kill anything that you named previous. So you, you get to choose which number this thing kills before going into the dungeon. Hmm. All right, and then you are first, Morgan. Interesting. All right. Your turn, Dakaris. Back to Mort. I can change size of the table. Uh, yep. Okay. Um. Uh, Dakaris? So you can click end to turn now to indicate that your turn's over. There you go. That's the whole feature. Six cards. Uh, I'll take away the big old plate armor. In the dungeons, there's seven cards in the dungeon right now. Yeah, there's quite quite a bit. I mean, you're rel he's relatively powerful. He defeats all, uh, all one through threes and all even numbered. So there's only one, two, three, four cards that can hurt him. Eight fucking cards in there. Uh, I'm out. I am. Oh, you haven't ended your turn yet. 
Oh, huh? it's because you didn't end your turn, and then Mort didn't end his turn. There you go. So then you're, you're <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, before you flip right. that over, you have to choose which number you're going to kill with the Vorpal Sword. The little circles show how many there are. So there's one six, one seven, one nine, but there's two fives, two threes, two fours, etc. So it shows you the exact makeup of the deck on that card. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Um... So like fives technically do the most damage, um, but if there's a nine yeah. in there, that will hurt as well. You don't have anything like the health potion that the barbarian. Has, so you take enough fives. damage, you're dead. You do fives. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yep. One gets killed by the torch. Four gets killed by the Holy Grail. Five gets killed by the Vorpal Sword. Four gets killed by the Holy Grail. Six gets killed by the Holy Grail. Two gets killed by the Holy Grail. Seven kills you. Because there's nothing to stop it. Ugh. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll reset. All right, so I'm out now. Yeah, you're out. So it's just me and uh, me and Carrot. All right. Should go by pretty quick though. Decaris is injured, uh, and he has a victory point. So if I let him go through, it's either he wins or he loses. All right, I am next in line. I'm going to turn off the turns thing because we're just two players now. Uh, so I'll go first. I'll stick with the warrior just to keep things moving. Go ahead and put that in. Go ahead, Dakaris. Hmm. Dude, dude. Oh, the works. <clears throat> See what's good in the workshop. So, uh, if I was going to pull anything from the workshop, just so I had it, are there any recommendations? Is there anything that you're like, oh, you just you got to have this? Um. There's a certain table that's really good. Uh, it's called the Kraken, I think. The what? The Kraken. If you're going to make a uh, a mod or something, I'd really like I'd recommend that one. Um, it's just a table by itself, but it's like really fancy. It's also really good for doing Magic the Gathering stuff on because it's huge. Uh, so it's my okay. turn. No, I'm still mine. Oh, you have to you have to pick. I know. I'm deciding still. Don't rush me! Don't rush me! Hurry up! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. I'm gonna cover that back up. No one, no one needs to see Ditto's penis. Um, anything else? Like any other games that you would recommend from? Um, Settlers of Catan. Uh, Code Names is really good. If we had players um let's see here i think i'm out actually that wasn't supposed, right. to happen. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen this didn't go as planned <laughs> all right so before you flip it over which number do you want for the vorpal sword remember if you saw a number that you put in that was really big yeah you might want to pick that one you only have three hp though so right so I want to save this for like one of the bigger ones. You have to pick before you go in. It's not like the the barbarians. You pick before you flip over. But it kills all of that number. So not that one, but the one before it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Pick which one? How, how do I know? Because I can't see the cards. So if you look over here on your your uh, your thing. Remember, you've been putting in cards, so hopefully you remembered which numbers you put in. But also, you can go by uh, by numbers. So if you look at this card right here, it shows you that there are 
one number nine, one number seven, one number six, and then two each of five, four, three, two, one. So that's the makeup of the deck. We've put in five of those cards. Well, I want to use it on the nine. You want to use it on the nine? Well, the nine you don't need to because you have the dragon spear, which kills the nine. All right. So in that case, the... The seven is the next biggest. Yeah, seven. So on the seven. So if there's a seven in there, it's dead. Okay. okay. You can go ahead and flip that over. This one here? Uh, Yep, that one there. Uh, for, uh, F. F, yep. So Torch kills that guy. So you can just drag him off. So I have to use it on that one? Uh, torch automatically works. Okay, I didn't realize that. Uh, but okay. four, four kills you. Yeah. I didn't. yeah. Gosh. I thought that we could pick which one it goes on. But yeah, whatever. Not not, not for this one. That's the Barbarian's uh, Vorpal Axe. Okay. You, you get to kill which one you want. Vorpal Sword is you pick the number that you're going to kill, and then you go through and you'll kill those automatically. Okay. All right. But that's the game. I am the winner, having not gone through the dungeon at all. So that's that's fun. Look at that. Uh, let's see here. Is there any games that you guys like want to play? Like, do you want to play Monopoly? Or... <laughs> I I already bought. Oh, you already boss bought the Mon boss monster. Okay, I think I you did. should be able to load it. So you you'll click games on the top left. <laughs> You'll click DLC, and then you'll find Boss Monster in the list, and just click on it. There it is. Hey, no, that's uh, zero ten. That's awesome. Having a uh, custom four player. What? Talking to chat. Yeah. Oh. You you have. Oh, I I don't own it. <laughs> so you, you'll need to host the game. Oh, so I, I okay. Yeah. You say we're playing Monopoly? So the... No, we're gonna play Boss no. Monster. Okay, let's say. <laughs> I gotta yeah, sleep I sometime tonight. <laughs> well, Monopoly didn't take that long if you actually play by the rules, which no one does. Everyone's like, "Oh, what? Like, you get free money if you hit, you know, go to jail." And it's like, "Well, you're playing a game where you're trying to make everyone go bankrupt. Let's add more money to it." Hmm. So we're so we're buying the. Uh... Boss monster? No, no, you don't need to buy it. Okay. Uh, uh, Mort already has it. He just needs to host the game. Ugh. All right, hold I'm on, hold on a second. I'm gonna add to my wish list. I'll get it later. One second. Yes. What's up? Poking your head in the room to make sure that Ben's still sleeping. Okay. Be careful when you go out there. The floors, I just mop them, and I don't know if they're still wet. Okay. All right. Bye. Can you uh, send me that invite again? Okay. I, uh, okay. When he comes back, I need an invite. <laughs> yeah, oh, he needs to make the game, so. Oh, okay. I thought we're, I saw an invite there. We're waiting on him. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't think he made the game already. I can check Steam real quick. I'm gonna grab me another drink. Oh yeah, it looks like he did load or uh, make the game. I think. Yeah. Okay. And back. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Let me check back in this game. Um, I don't remember what the hell I... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh... Games on the top left. DLC. And then Boss Monster. There it is. I should load up. Can you click on my name on the top right and then uh, promote? If you uh, sent me an invite before, can you send me another one? Sure. All right, you got it. Sure. I'm going to sit over here. 
like a whole quick start guide on there. <clears throat> Monster is a fast-paced card game of strategic dungeon building. That's really good. Right. Maybe too good. Guys are all in. All right. Um, uh, do you want to read the quick start guide, or do you want me to give you kind of the rundown? You should promote Dakaris first, so he can sit down. I think I actually even have the physical game of this one. And then, Dakaris, you'll want to click on your name on the top right and then click Change Color and then pick your color. Uh, yeah, you can give us the rundown, Mort. Uh, so, that's, oh, cool. It automatically does everything for you. Is there any other way? Oh, it's fucking awesome, actually. Welcome to the dungeon. We just played that game. So, um, my memory of all the rules is a little uh, great. Um, but essentially what's happening is the, the cards that you've got, um, you were trying to build um, starting to the left of your um, of your boss to prevent whatever hero is about to get flipped into the town from being able to get through. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see what I've got. Uh, card hand you take one card to put it in your hand. So, all right. So my Dracu Lord, um, should I, uh, level it up? We'll have the ability to, um, to take somebody else's card. Can croak. Search the room in a deck or discard pile for advanced monster rooms. So the advanced monster rooms are the ones that have the um, the gold monster symbol in the top left of the card, whereas your regular trap rooms have the little uh, white skull and crossbones. Your regular monster room has the uh, white uh, or gray uh, monster face on there. So you have to lay down a regular uh, monster room or trap room uh, before you can place an advanced one and the advanced has to go over. So essentially symbols have to match. Um, you just have to lay on top. Okay, uh, so uh, the, the setup says that uh, we choose one ordinary room and place it face down next to our boss right now. We do that now? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So not not an advanced monster room, just some other room. The not, not, not advanced ones. One of the standard uh, monster yeah. rooms or trap rooms. So, like... But then you've also got the um, skill cards. So, like this? Hmm? Did, did I do that right? Yep. So, essentially, what that gives you now is if, if on the next... Um, the next uh, hero that comes out, if they have um, two swords or a sword, um, since nobody else has a sword, then that means that hero is going to be yours and it has to go through your dungeon. If you successfully kill it, um, you gain uh, you gain a point. I believe you have to have five uh, total. I might be mistaken. Um, I got to look at the rules here. Real quick. Uh, ten, 10 souls or one player. So 10. Yeah, ten souls or five wounds. So if the if a hero makes it through, you take uh, one to two wounds. If you take them down, you collect one to two souls. Okay, so we all start with one room already built, according to the setup line four here. This one right here. The the boss room. Oh, we place it face down next to our boss. So we actually do something different. So like that. Is that right? Choose one ordinary room and place it when you're down supposed next to, to your boss. Oh, you simultaneously reveal. Okay. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Did you catch all that, Karis? Uh, no, but I think I think I'll probably get it as we go. 
Okay, so you want to? Uh, I think for setup we have to pick a, a normal room, uh, and put it next to your boss right here. Okay. Looking. Uh, uh, yeah, for a while, bloody. I'm not sure what else. I assume these are all rooms. They're all rooms, but you can't build a. Uh, you can't build an advanced monster room, which it'll say up on the top. Hey, right, buddy. Oops. What is that? Oh, that's your character. So th this is not a room, actually. We lied to you. That's a spell. Okay. So these these two cards in your hand are spells, and then all of these five are rooms. But some rooms say things like this at the top that say advanced. Uh, monster room. Okay. Okay. What do we do next? More. Are you guys place so I gotta place a room now. Yeah. You build this. Whoops. When you build this room, choose an opponent. That opponent discards a random spell card. Uh. When you build this room, choose an opponent that opponent discards random spell. Okay. Choose anybody. Uh, do we have a do we have a dice that we can roll? Uh, you don't need a die, so you can like let's say you chose me. I would take the two cards that are my spells. I would shuffle them, and then just remove one, and the other one goes back to my hand. Do you want to just say you did it on me, so I can just do that? Sure. Boom! You've done it. My giant dies. Oh, right. Now um, now that we've all gone through our first turn, now it's time for one of the standard heroes to come out. Okay, so, so click gonna... this new heroes button. I think we'll do it automatically. Cool. Okay. That is pretty neat. So, uh, all right, who's got what? So, and then it says Brian... each player draws a room card. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, this is uh, wait. on the beginning of turn. Uh, that's, yeah, for the actual like first part of the turn, but I think we have to do the adventure phase first. Yeah, because we did the bait phase. Now adventure phase. We didn't do the bait phase yet. We're still at beginning of turn. Reveal two heroes, where we or three if you're in a three-player game, and then each player draws a room card. Then it's build, then bait. Oh. And then... Okay, so now we draw a room card. Got it. Yeah, all right. I yeah, got it. So, so draw a room card, hover small. over this deck, and you're just going to push the number one on your keyboard. Uh, just once. If you push it multiple times, you're going to draw 11, and then and that would be bad. <laughs> What's up, Eva? How are you doing tonight? We're just getting some tabletop going, fucking around with some boss monster for the moment. So just hover over it, and then push one once. And it'll draw the card. Are you hovering over the deck? Or? I think he's. Did, is... So. Oh. I'm picking. No? So, yeah. Well, you hover over the deck, and then you push the number one on your top row of keys on your keyboard where the numbers are. There you go. Boom. Just be careful not to push it multiple times, like I said, because it'll give you it'll wait a second before it draws in case you're doing like twelve or thirteen or something. Gotcha. So if you push it twice, so dude, um, we we I'm we're just learn well flip nose tabletop simulator. Uh, I am just learning uh, as is Dakaris, but uh, yeah, after we get done with this run, um, there's another seat at the table if you want in. Okay. So then it's build phase. So it says in XP order, each player may place one room face down in his dungeon. Ordinary rooms can be placed to the left of your leftmost room or on top of any room. Advanced rooms can only be played on a room with a matching treasure icon. Treasure icons are, yeah. Treasure icons are the ones on the bottom right. So we each get to play another uh, monster. 
or another room. And we're trying to... Oh, awesome. Eva, if you want to jump in on the next one, you're more than welcome. Bait these dudes. Hmm. What are we up against? Four? Ugh. Ugh. So, if we each put one down like this, is that right? Yeah. So, Dakaris, you're playing another room card. Okay. You're trying to match the symbols on the bottom right with the heroes that are out here to try and lure them in. I, I take it. So, uh, whoever has, I'm guessing, more, tell me if I'm wrong, whoever has the most cleric y symbols up here will get both of these clerics to go into their dungeon. And whoever has the most money Correct. symbols will have that thief go into their dungeon. I'm having such a hard time determining what I want to do here. But if I don't have any that match those? Then you just still play one because it still makes your dungeon harder and it allows you to build more advanced stuff later. You you can always build um uh build stuff on top of cards. So like if later you want to get rid of this one, you can just play another card on top of it and it'll Am I doing it. two? But, no, just one. Just one right one. now. If you want to add me on uh, Steam, if, if you, uh, I don't know if you're on phone or, or not, but uh, my Steam link is uh, underneath the video if you're on desktop. I don't know how you access all that information if you're on a mobile device, though. So. Steam, I'm probably the only Mortimer Nova on there. Build fake spells. What's this one? So Brian, you just built? Uh, built. No, how do you build? You, that, yeah, oh, you, no, you put room down. He's okay. put room down. That, that's the build. Yeah, 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 I sure did. You done did it. <laughs> uh, and then in XP order, it says, we flip those over. Is that right? Now, hold up for a second. At the end of the build phase, simultaneously reveal all face down room cards. For one so, yes. second, because dude, we still forgot the spell turn, and I do want to well, that hasn't come up yet. ...of the uh, thing. So if you look at the bottom of the second page, you can play any number of spells per turn. You may only draw a spell when a card specifically tells you to. Each spell has an icon that indicates whether it can be played during the build phase, the adventure phase, or both. Um, wow. So currently we're in the build phase, and right. I'm throwing a spell down. All right, what's it do? Says uh, if you have fewer rooms than an opponent, you may build an extra room this turn. Uh, okay. So I am going to... Um, yeah, yeah, you shouldn't be link blocked. Um, post it up. And, huh? Okay. I think we're ready to flip. Yeah. So flip your card over. There we go. Uh, mine says when I build this room, draw two spell cards, then discard a card. I'm going to draw two nice. of these. I'm a terrible one. But I try. Um. I'll discard that one, I guess. What does your say? Your says, once per turn, when an opponent plays a spell card, you may discard a spell card to cancel its effect. Oh, so if you wanted to cancel my spell card, you could do so, but it costs you a spell card. Uh... <clears throat> Prob probably not. I don't know. Okay. So if I don't do that, what next? Uh, that's build phase done, I think. So now it's bait phase. So each hero moves to the dungeon with the most relevant treasure icons. If a particular treasure mm -hmm. type is tied, that hero type stays in town. No spells or abilities may interrupt this process. So who has the most? All right, um, so I've got the clerics. Symbols? 
I have none money symbols. Uh, Mort has a money symbol. So it looks like I get all of these. Yeah, you get heroes. all of them. Oops. I'm just going to draw these into my hand like a normal human. Man, I just realized I was looking in the wrong spot for those symbols. Damn it. Oh, well. Too late. Uh, my, dropping a spell here. This will uh, choose a hero. And, oh, I'm sorry. I misread the card. I misread the card. My bad. Yeah, get out of there. So in XP, my warrior bad. bosses must contend better. with heroes in their dungeon. Each hero enters a dungeon. Each room has a value black that depletes the hero's health value. Once your hero's health is reduced to zero, place it face down in the square keeping area. If a survive, hero survives a room, it enters the next room. If it survives your entire dungeon, place it face up in your score area. Adventure phase spells may be played before a hero enters a dungeon or while I'm okay. starting with a thief here. Uh, I'm taking damage. Uh, yep. So I am going. I'm going to be taking one mm -hmm. point of damage here. Yep. For this next one, uh, I'm going to let's see. Take, take I'm well. going to take this care. Uh, what is this? Four. So one and three. So I will be able to kill this one. Uh, so that's one yep. soul. It says once per turn, if a hero yeah. dies in this room, you may heal a wound so you can heal. I'm back, and then with this character, I'm going to stop him right here and destroy this room. So that way I can take them out. Does that give you another nugget? Yes. Okay. And then that was that that was the whole turn, right? So you reactivate any deactivate how does a room deactivate? I guess that's it'll say certain on. rooms that have abilities um like uh okay. so like the ones that are like once per turn you can draw a spell or once per turn you can do this or that. So that's those sorts of rooms. It's landic what for like movies or games or both? Flip over one face up hero. I guess. Oh. Through the next phase, so everybody draw a card. How do I draw again? Uh, hover over the one. deck and push the one. Once. Oop. Yep. And then we build, so we pick a card to play. Nice. Dungeon. Oh wait, no, no. Uh, it's not build. First, it's heroes first. So we got two fighters and a mage. How buff are they? Oh, those guys are buff. Oh yeah, they are six hundred eight. Just... Okay, do that. Are we waiting on me? Uh, we're all well. We're all yeah. waiting to build a card. So you you'll need to put a card face down onto your your board, whether it's on a. Oh wait, is this? Oh, I can't do that one actually. Well, I can. I can do it here. You can build an advanced room or a uh, on top of one of your cards, or a basic room on one of the new spots, or overwriting one of your cards. So just make sure it's not an advanced room if it's this one. Uh, how do I know if it's an advanced room? Uh, if you look at the top of the card, right underneath, it'll say either monster room, trap room, or advanced monster room, or advanced trap It does not say advanced. Oh, it also advanced rooms have to match the symbol you're placing them. So I actually can't do that. Um... Wait, what? what? What about this? It can't match what? 
so if you wanted to play an advanced uh, trap or monster room like here, you can uh -huh. only play it if it's a blue one, like if it matches the symbol. Okay, it does. Well, you, yours is fine because yours is not an advanced room, right? Okay, right. If it was an advanced room, you'd be placing it over that one. Okay. Okay. And then Did you already lose that note? The one you advanced room goes away, right? Huh? Wait, what? These these guys aren't here. The uh when you when you overwrite a room with an advanced room, it goes on like the one you overwrote goes away. Is that right? Well, no, you don't you don't take it away, you stack it on top because there's other things that can remove your advanced rooms. Oh, okay. Hey Real Tons Gamer, how goes it? It's just the everything discard. I guess that's the every discard. Nope. And no, no, yeah, that's fine because normally I would keep these heroes. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I need to keep uh, which was the one that killed me. Uh, it was that one. So yeah, I, I mean, need this, to keep them like this that. This says you add because... that one to your soul value too. So you should actually have three. Right? Um, no, I took damage from that one. You took damage, but if you read... Oh, 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 I get... No. Again. Once per turn, if a hero dies in this room, you may me heal one wound. Flip it says flip one. over one face-up hero, which is in your wound pile, adding its soul value to your total. Oh. And then... So I think that means you have three. You should go uh, check out my uh, new yeah. desk setup. Makes sense. I... Uh... You scroll down below Twitch, either my Facebook, Twitter, or so weird. something. All right, so I've I got, got a link, uh, picture right uh, on one of those. I got like fan Facebook fan and all that down there. I, I pulled one of the Pokemon pretty uh, sweet games for uh, for Tabletop Simulator too. So I'm gonna give that a go at some point. Do uh, I'm big into the poke, the pokes. All right, are we ready? Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh oh man. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. So we all flip our card over. Yes, sir. Here. Which card are we flipping over? Uh the one you just played. Ah. We're we're playing them simultaneously so we don't know what each other are playing. And now we go to Debate phase, right? Oh okay. uh, yeah, now we go to the now we go to the um, so who has the most blue? I think that's the Karis. Definitely. So that so one's we, going. And then you have the here. most swords for sure. So those other two heroes are going over to you. Yeah. Okay. And then it's okay. It's like XP order? What does that mean with the highest XP? Uh we are playing uh tabletop simulator. So that's me. I it think. would be. Let's and see. this so is mage is four. Uh, fighter is eight. So you have to do boss your eight fighter, then your six fire fighter, then Brian does his four mage. Really have no idea what, what I'm doing. Oh wait, I <laughs> I can choose which order these guys go in, or no, um, I that I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know that. Let me see. Uh, each hero enters. Uh, uh, if rules tell me i think you can just pick i think you can just pick the order quite honestly let's see real quick starting with the first hero to arrive at an entrance uh heroes attack dungeons i think it goes in the order that they were that they showed up in that could be i'll i'll assume it was this that's fine all right. Um, eight. So, boop, 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 ow. And then, boop, boop, boop. So, does he take the three damage here, and then I can play a spell? 
uh, well, let's see. He, if this is a six, so so far it's a five, four, down to one. Uh, and I want my second beer. The uh, first one That's I had. Well, yeah, I'm doing low carb. In, uh, in this area. The first one I had is a uh, dogfish. Gotcha. Slightly yep, mighty. So yeah, send it back to the beginning. Uh, that one's actually pretty good. Uh, screw me over. To screw you over. Once per turn, when a plays a spell card, you may discard a spell card to cancel its effects. So, Brian, if you were to do that now, uh -huh. uh, since he's the only other opponent that you're up against, if you use that, it would uh, nullify his spell card. Thus, he would take two points of damage and then only be able to, to get hit three more times before he dies. Yeah, I'll do that. So then this card... So you, you have to, to discard a spell card from your hand. Okay. And then, yeah, you'll discard to negate his. So one, one of these two scrolly-looking ones. Sword. I play sword. I have both. I have sword digital and so I, shield cartridge. I take you one of these... Discard it? Well, how do I discard it? You just put it in the discard pile. Just throw here. it. Bam. Discard it. So uh, now you've taken two points of damage. Unless you have another spell, another battle spell. Uh, I do, but I don't know if I want to use it. Uh, kicking my butt. Uh, and, and now uh, I'm drinking like I made a, it the storyline already. The first one I had was actually a kicking my butt. Three point and, four um, or three point okay. six now, carbs. Guy, That's actually really good. <sighs> I'll say it. Uh, battle arena. Well, well no, actually, there's a beat. So you have this. I beat him the other day. He comes over here. He's like, okay. oh, sweet treasure. And then he goes here to the all Eye, he's like? electrocuted, and then he goes here and he dies to this haunted library. Or, uh -huh. they throw this spell card out there, choose a hero in an opponent's dungeon, uh, and give that hero plus three health. Yep, so instead he will murder your... All right. <laughs> And then you have to push this button here in order to take a wound. What did you okay. do? Did you, just, did you just throw that card into here? I was just clicking on the box. Oh. Just trying uh, to get it now up. I'm drinking, uh, drinking uh, Corona Premier, which is a new beer I guess they released last year. It's uh, only two carbs with 90 calories. <laughs> Not a fan of it. <laughs> Uh, it is super bubbly, but <laughs> Perfect. That up a bit. not doing it for me. I liked the uh, the dog okay. dog so I think that's, dogfish head better. Uh, the whole turn, right? So, uh, yes. Uh, right, back to start. So new heroes come out. We each draw a card. So Dakaris draw a card. Mort draw a card. Yeah, I gotta wait till he draws. You don't. You can just all draw at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. It's not, it's not, it's not going to break anything. Probably. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that we know of. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so what are we sitting on out here? We've got and a we cleric six, fighter four, and a thief four. All right. Hmm. Yes, I would agree. Do not do the Corona premiere. But the uh, the Dogfish had one. It's it's all right. I mean, I'd much rather prefer a, no, a normal oh, beer. Decisions, decisions. Um, I'm more of a dark ale. I also have a uh, all right. Kona Blonde Ale. It's that one's good. And that one's also in like three point four, three point six uh, carbs. You'll find all the uh, all the links and whatnot. There. That one is tops. Oh man, have you guys taken a look around at where we are? We're in a dungeon. No. Oh. <laughs> did, Karius, did you play your, your room? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I am? Some sort of professional? <laughs> this is not Call of Duty. So, picking a room. Picking a room. Uh, do I need to do it face down or no? Uh, you're the last one, so no. It doesn't matter. Because we're all just going to flip them face up right now. 
No. That's not a room, though. It's not? It said room on it. Where does it say room on oh, it? I, I picked the wrong one. My bad. <laughs> That's what I meant to play. Is that a room? Custom asset bundle? What the hell is this? Popping up is this custom asset bundle. I'm just going to close it. I don't know what the hell it's talking about. Huh. Hmm. Ready? Uh, sure. All right. My thing doesn't do anything right now. Zombie prison. That's rude. What did you get? That's where I belong. Yeah, in the zombie prison. All right. So then this fighter goes to me still <clears throat> with four. You. Uh, thief goes to Mort. Is that right? One. Uh, How many do you have? You have two. No, you don't two. have any. Thief goes. To uh, I am. I am feeling the same way. This is way too yeah, much yeah, thinking to involved. Uh, and too many rules and things to follow. The one that we played before right, this, so I then it starts an XP think was so I even more complicated than this one. There's more yeah. Yeah. Six. unanswered stuff about this one, though. But really good. So it'll die in this area. I don't have a wound that I need to heal. I'm going to send him back to town. Oh. On until the next turn. So that's it for me. Uh, so my turn, we got the fighter who takes um, three damage and dies. Actually, now Dakaris would be next because he has the next lowest. Uh, because since the, neither of you guys have XP, he has the next lowest damage. I thought X, so I have 800 and he has 600. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I was confusing this with something else. Yep. Nope. I'm sorry. Never mind. You're next. Okay. He dies here because he takes. Uh, three and then one. Bloop. And then Dakaris' turn. Mm -hmm. Wait, what am I doing again? This is the fourth. You're fighting this thief, so your Neanderthal yeah. cave goes punch. And then your dragon hatchery goes punch. And then your all seeing eye goes the on all the glass. And then you kill him. Oh. And then you get plus one nug. I like nugs. Yeah, nugs are good. <laughs> My favorite are the dinosaur shaped nugs. Uh, and then that's the end of the turn, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're drawing a card. And then after Dakaris draws his card, we do build phase again. And then rinse and repeat. Play Rick. Mage. Man, none of these guys are good for me. Now, this is the time to, depending on what you do here, if you build your last room, that is how you activate your uh, boss's ability. So that's when you consider your boss to be leveled up. So if you place a room here in the last room area and not an advanced room, you get to activate the ability of your boss. Like, I won't have the ability to because I used an advanced room earlier, but you guys both, if you go to the last Regular. room, have... Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> this is a part I don't understand. How do rooms end up in the discard pile? Um, if you if you destroy a room, or if somebody else destroys that person's room, like uh, for example, one of my rooms is you may destroy this room to choose a face down hero in an opponent's scorekeeping area and send it back to the entrance of that player's dungeon. So if I trash that room, I have to throw it in the discard. Ah, uh, okay. Dude, I'm all about it, brother. I really have no idea what I'm doing. You're building rooms. Yeah, you sure. I sure am. Hold up. Right. So let's see. You may search 
through town or the hero decks. Choose one hero and put it at the entrance of your dungeon. So your your hero ability now, if you go through the uh, excuse me, the let me see, does it specify? You can go through either of the hero decks and choose any hero you want to put it at the beginning of your dungeon. Rule of thumb here. Let's see. Trap room. That's not. So you got one four. Well, we go in XP order, so I pick first. And you would want to snag a hero out of one of these decks that has um, eight to be able to uh, to be able to uh, make sure that you kill it and get the points for it. <clears throat> And, yep, Flip is using his hero's ability. No, that's um, not my hero's ability. Discord. That's actually the the. Uh... Oh wait, no, that's a monster room. Never mind. Can't use that one. But I can look through the room deck. I'm gonna do that. You should see the link in chat there. What do I need? Can I build it? I immediately build the room. So that's useful. So I probably want something that gives me one of those bad boys. <laughs> Ooh, that one's really good. Yeah, I'll take... Is it a monster room? Oh, wait. It has to be an advanced monster room. Dang it. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do that one. <laughs> All right. La, 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 la. That's my special room done. Is everybody ready? You got a little bit. Did Dakaris look through the spells and get the spell card he wants? No. Nope. Or they, I'm not sorry, not the spells, the heroes. Yes. So you can right click on the hero deck that you want to search for it through, and then click on search, and you can then look at the cards. The hero decks are this one for baby heroes and this one for big heroes. Nope. Don't do that. Oh. Steam, so, it a so wait, what am I doing now? So, your your guys, your main boss character dude's ability is going off. So if you read that, I'm gonna turn the thing back around. Okay. So if you hold Alt over that, so you can read it. It says when you level up, you leveled up because you filled out your your dungeon. Why isn't it jumping up for me? It's like itty bitty. There we Just go. Just hold, hold alt, and then I you did. can zoom in on yeah, the did. alted one to make okay. it bigger. Uh, it says you may search through uh, town or the hero decks, choose one hero, and put it at the entrance to your dungeon. So you can choose any of the ones that are out here, or you can actually go through to the epic heroes or to the hero deck and uh, pick one to keep. Or to, but... to fight through your dungeon. So I'm just, I can just use this one? Yeah, you, you are using that currently. That's what we're waiting for. All right, so I'm now I'm supposed to pick one from down out of these two decks? So you can either pick one that's in town, so any of these, or one from the regular hero deck or one from the epic hero deck. If you want to search through the decks, you can right-click on the deck and then click on Search. Or search. When you right click on the deck, a little menu will pop up. Oh, there it goes. I knew it the first time. 
All right. Yeah. And then you can click search. Just make sure it's a monster you can kill. It looks like right now your dungeon's doing one or eight damage. So hopefully it's something that has eight damage or eight health or less. That's a big negative. That's the uh, that's my Steam link. If you want to click on that and uh, send me a request. That we have so I can also use this right deck as well. Next, like the yeah. hero and epic hero. Right. If, you, if you don't like this one, you can look at this deck, or you can just pick someone straight out of the lineup. I'm fighting this person. Yeah, you're gonna fight them. You yeah. want to fight them because when you kill them, you get their soul, like dark souls. And if you get ten souls, you win the game. And you don't want to lose to them because if you lose to them, you'll take a damage. And if you take five damage, like dark souls, you die. <laughs> So to pick it, do I just how do I pick it? Just click and drag it out onto the table. Okay. There you go. And then we'll just put that at the beginning of your dungeon there. Okay. So I think that's all the build stuff done, unless you have no, yours is a normal buildy thing. So now it's the bait phase. So who has the most cleric stuff? I think that's uh -huh. still Mort with three. I think it's me. So Mort gets the cleric. And then most magey stuff I think is still you. Me. I I have right. three. He's got four. Oh he's got four. Yeah. And then thief. And then thief. I have none. Dakaris has or not yeah, Dakaris has one. Mort has none. So <clears throat> you also get this one. <laughs> So it's this one, then this one, then this one for you. And then it's this. I think it was the six one first and then the eight. Correct. Okay. So starting with Mort. Okay, so let's see. It's gonna it's gonna kill it's gonna kill this one for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. This one. Alright, I gotta look at my rooms real quick. Oh, it's going to... Actually, it's going to kill this one as well. Uh, monster rooms adjacent to this room. The Goblin Armory have plus one. Zombie Prison is a monster room, so that makes it a two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that kills that as well. Yep. Uh, then it's my go, but I don't have any dudes. And then it's Dakaris's go. So we start with the Fool. Uh, so the fool uh, goes one, your, your, your hallway punches him, then your Neanderthal people destroy him, and then Dakaris, you get uh, a nugget. Okay. All right, you do the next one, so the mage. So move over this way. To... So you're fighting the mage now, so you're doing damage on your on your rooms so this uh -huh. one heart will do one damage to him then he moves to the next room then this three will do three to him then he moves to the next room zero to six is nothing and then three so that's been three six seven so now he's dead so now he'll go into your he's dead you get his soul so you get another nugget and then same thing with the thief so one three six he's dead <laughs> and you get one more nugget Okay, that's it. So we go back to the beginning. So new heroes come out. We each draw a card. And then we go to the build phase. Uh, I'm actually going to discard a card to draw a spell card with my room. Mm -hmm. uh, what, are we, what are we up against? Fighter, thief, and mage. I just posted up the link. I don't know what the hell happened with the other link I put up, but it should be working now. Uh,
probably that one. There we go. And then are you going to build anything, Dukaris? If I were to build something, I would have to pull, draw, I would have to m remove something, right? You'd have to overwrite, yeah. So you'd, okay. you'd put it on top of it. Um, if it's an advanced something or other, then it would need to cover up the card below it. So, or it would need to match the symbol that you put it on. So, like this card you've been using because you cheated it out um, when no one was looking, because it's an advanced trap room. So okay. You put it on anything. There should be a card underneath it. Not that it matters. Okay. Yeah, that was before we had mentioned anything about advanced rooms. <laughs> Did not know. Yeah. So you would just put it over top, but it has to match the symbol on the card that you put out. Yeah, I'm good with what I got. Okay, so not building anything. All right, so Mort, you and I flip. You may swap the placement of two rooms in any one dungeon. That's a good one. I am not going to be swapping anything. I'm not swapping. All right, so no. that's it, I think, then. All right, Eva. All right. So fighter, I definitely get. Thief, I think, is still the Karis's. And mage is still the Karis's. One, two, four. Yes. Yeah. There you go. So like that. So starting with me, with the fighter. Uh, I have one, two, three, five. So he takes five damage from here, one damage from here, and he dies. Ah, yeah. And then Dakaris, it's your turn. So thief goes. Okay. Fight the thief. Fight the thief. So, so what do I do? Do an eight. So grab, grab so the thief because. No, the thief. That guy. Okay. And then you, you bump him up against these things to, to so that he takes damage thematically. You go, Haya, one, plus Haya, three, plus Haya, zero, plus Haya, three more. And then one finally kills him on. And you flip him over into that pile Wait. there. My math wrong? One, four. Never mind. What math is wrong? And then you get a plus one. Uh... Okay. All right. And then it's next turn. So heroes come out. So I guess these guys are buffer. <laughs> they look buffer. Oh, wait. He's still got a mage up here. Buffer. We each draw a card. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He's still got a mage up here. Where did that guy come from? That was he's been the, there. Was that the... I thought he already fought that guy. The mage? No. Uh, we, we dropped two down. The, the, the oh, last okay. guy we just did and the mage. So th this guy follows All right, the same so you that one. Well, then. Yeah, he dies. This guy said two? So you got... He, he did, yeah. Yep, so you got six okay. souls now. So plus one nugget. Okay. There you go. So we each draw a card now. All right, now we're out. Oops. We're going to put cocaine back in Coke Zero. I'm pretty sure that's not an option. And we build a room if we want. So for this dragon hatchery I have, it's got you can four... Yeah, you can build an advanced thing of any type on top. That's probably why it's good. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to discard a card to grab a spell with my one per turn thing. So it can oh. only it can only be an advanced. No, you can you can drop anything on top. It doesn't have to just be an advanced one. Okay. Oh shit! All my cards kind of suck. Yeah, the regular ones aren't as good. 
leveled up. Uh, target opponent reveals his or her hand to you. Take one card and put it into your hand. Uh, flip, you show me your hand. You flip your, your card, right? Well, Dakari still hasn't picked his room. Yeah, I, I can still drop it, right? I can drop it now? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so now he can steal a card from somebody. Yeah, show me show me that hand. I guess what do I just I can just look at it? Well, you're picking somebody, so who are you picking? You. You you're picking me? Dakaris has six points. <laughs> I'm not worried about this. Ouch. Okay. So who did who did? Oh, really? I didn't put the Facebook on there? Oops. Did you find it? All right. And now we do the bait phase. Uh, I'll, uh, so Mage goes to... I'll add my uh, still. Facebook Cleric. and uh, otherwise I'll have Instagram on too. I put it on. I get Cleric. the fighter. Cleric goes to you. Cleric. And then we start with you for fighting that cleric. Okay. So, or yeah, you start with Mort. Right? My bad. Because Mort has the most XP's, nine hundred. Uh, I'm just looking here. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a. Uh, Starts with me, so it's eleven. Arazi um, Arena armor gives desk. Plus one to each room that's adjacent to it. So this direct go lich. Full surface four. is a. Uh, Plus one is five. It's a mouse pad. Plus Pretty much all rolls up too. If I need to remove it, and it's seven, washable. Seven. The uh, nine, monitors. I've got two 27-inch monitors. Okay. So I take. And uh, the out, bottom one's 24-inch, but I have a third 27-inch on the way as well. Hero points. And I'm running two machines for streaming. I have one okay, that's my machine, my, my streaming machine, uh, and I have another one that's my gaming five, machine. They're both Core i7s. Uh, six, uh, seven, my gaming machine has a 2070 uh, with 32 uh, gig, gig of RAM. Sorry, my streaming well, machine. Uh, has 24 gig of RAM triple channel with a uh, 960 in it. Those points for me. Okay. It's pretty bad. Now, Dakaris, you fight All right. yours. All right. I'm going, to, I'm going to freeze this room. So that room Gangster. doesn't exist anymore. All right. So you got six, though. That's four. Five, Five and six. Six. So he did. Yeah, you still you still take it out. So this I was taken out? Yeah, you killed him. I killed this guy or I killed me? No, you, you killed him. Okay. You did six damage to him. Okay. Damn, my math wrong again. How the fuck do I keep doing that? I, just... I think you were mathing what? it when he had this instead. But he <laughs> built a room that gave him one extra damage. That's right. I figured that part out finally. <laughs> okay so next turn more cards draw a card from the room deck for everybody Oof. these cards suck <laughs> oops shit can you shuffle that oh i only flipped it over it should be fine what's that i accidentally uh flipped the whole deck over but it only showed the bottom card yeah i mean we can shuffle it it's not a big deal Oh. It's a really interesting. It's a lot of thieves. So I can't cut if I have an advanced card. I cannot cover it up one of my non-advanced rooms. Correct. Uh, if you have an advanced card, since you're you're full, you can put it on any card you want as long as it matches the symbol. Damn it. Oh, actually. Yeah. Okay. Boop. Put that there. Room, sir. 
Everybody ready? Yeah, I actually did one yesterday. I spent like an you, hour and a pick your room. Uh so what, what am I doing? Did you did you already build or did you already pick your room you're gonna yep. build? Yeah, I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna play this this spell once everyone's it's been like an hour and a half designing oh, the panel so for it. Rooms can be built this turn and, and then uh returned to its owner found that the uh so panel was you built broken. Your hand. Say one more time. Back. Whatever card you built goes back to your hand. What do you mean? So did you pick a card to build? Did you build anything? Yeah, I built this one here. So it goes back to your hand. So, yeah. that's, Ooh. That's, that's how that works. It's supposed to wait until everyone's face down and then you do it, but whatever. Okay. All right. So All then right. who has trap symbols? Anybody? Uh, me. Uh, the Karis do. Oops. So the Karis gets thief. The Karis is still mage master, I think. But at some point, I'll uh, just find another one to use or just do one from a text or whatnot and throw it on there. Do it. Let's see, it's 11 and 13. Do it. How many points do you got? Not enough. There's one, four, nine. Uh, it's nine total. So all three of those do two points of damage to you. Unless he's got a spell that will stop it. Stop it. Uh, so I can actually do spell. I don't know how, spe how spells work. Let me see. Yeah, you have a spell, so I don't know what it does. Uh, freeze. That's not going to help you. <laughs> That's going to make it worse. Okay. So thief comes in, smacks you for two. So you take two wounds. So you need one, one more. more. One more. Okay. Yeah. Mage comes in and smacks you for two. And that kills you, I think. Yeah. Um, but I think this guy still comes in and smacks you, right? So yeah. You, take, you need two more. You want to let me add any more? Yeah, because five is the most. So you are dead. So now it's yeah. just me and Mort, I guess. So new heroes come out. We each draw a card. Rush. Did you draw a card, Mort? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay. And I'm not going to play any cards. Yeah. Yeah, I'll eventually make uh, some boxes and everything down there. In fact. And then um, if I, I mean, they're they're not hard to make. At some point, I, I may even just make my own. Because it takes like CSS and all that, okay. too. So it's not, not really hard to do your own stuff on there. Gosh, Gina. Both of us have one book. Just having that time. Uh, <laughs> so that guy stays Yet. there. You have all yeah. the clerics, so you get that guy. I have all, all the five swords. Seconds. Let's see, this is a 13. Ugh. I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I killed yeah, clear. Exactly enough. You get two. And then I have 11, so I've got five, six, seven. Eight, uh, thirteen. Wait, well, more than 11. 15. What's that? Or twelve? Eight. Yeah, you're. You've definitely killed it. Yeah, you did. Without a dupe. Okay. Yeah. So next turn, uh, new heroes. Draw a card. Navigate, so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna discard a monster card to draw a spell with my kitchen. I'm going to take a look here. I am not going to play anything. I need to take a look at what's going on here. So you have a book, I have a book. That's one of stays. That the, that. Neither one of us can take the, what you call it, and I would take the cleric. So give me one sec to think. So I am going to play a card. I'm going to play this card. And I'm also going to play this spell, 
which says choose a hero in town and place it at my dungeon's entrance. So I'm going to put the cleric at my dungeon's entrance. Okay. Bam. So now this uh, room ability here, I can use this at any time. You may destroy this room to choose one card from the discard pile and put it into your hand um, after you've placed it. Which is right now, right? Uh, well, hold on. It's after the bait phase. I, I yeah. know it'd be either during, during the build phase. or the adventure. But like, if I destroy it right now, does this card become active? It becomes active. Okay, I'm just checking. Uh, you, so I also no. get the. Oh no! With you placing the dark altar, though, that would give me the mages. Oh yeah, that would be bad. The only mage card. So then this mage. That was dumb of me then. All right. I take it you have enough to kill one of those guys? I can uh, kill 10, one, 11, yeah. 12. Uh, you can kill both of them. So I guess you win. Da 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 da. And there it is. That's Boss Monster in all its glory. It's a fun game. It's very fun. It's pretty fun. Are you going to flip the table now? <clears throat> Do it! I mean, could we not? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> That's not... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, boy. I don't feel like you flipped the table so much as you sent us into the Twilight Zone. <laughs> and where's all the stuff coming up from above us? <laughs> it's because it's falling and then it like runs out of room and then it okay. spawns above. Oblivion. Who's up for Yahtzee? Do we have Yahtzee? I have no idea. I was just joking. Oh, you, can, you can definitely play Yahtzee. Oh, damn. But um, My game just crashed. Oh, your game crashed? That's weird. Yeah, it just crashed on me. No more game for you. Uh, yeah, like, if you want to play not Yahtzee, but instead Battle Yahtzee, there is a game called, um, oh, what is it called? I have it on my shelf back here. I forget what it's named. Where are you? I'm not seeing it. I'll have to look it up later. But yeah, there's a Battle Yahtzee game where basically you have like a special character and you're actually just playing Yahtzee in order to activate their abilities and punch people Pretty fun. is it full of murder uh yeah because you punch people murder yep super murder yeah let me find it here um what is it called well while we decide uh what we're gonna do? I'm gonna use a little boys' room, oh, so we uh, That's right. we don't. We're gonna clear up on aisle three. Are you about to pee pee in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> <Come> on here, <laughs> right back. No. <laughs> all right. I want to see what all I pulled down. So I downloaded a handful of things just while I'm looking here. Uh, mm -hmm. I definitely didn't pull down Zhang dice or oh, I think those just come with it. Oh, I pandemic! Did... You should get pandemic. That's I've never played it. Let me uh. Hold on. That one's a cooperative game, so we're working together. I pulled. Um, can you can you search them just from in the what you call it? Oh, you have to actually do it this way. Never mind, just ignore me. Ignore me. All right, shut down. Pandemic plus all expansions. Uh, probably that will work. It'll be a little confusing when you load it because it'll everything. You just need to remove the stuff that's not like the base game for when you play your first game. Gotcha. Oh, that's a game we should 
play at some point. Red November. Red November is another one of those cooperative games, so you're working together to beat the game. Um, you're all gnomes all right. on a submarine when gnomes have no business being on a submarine, and so shit starts going or very two. quickly. Versions of it. There's one that's just called Red November, and there's another one called Red November Scripted. Um... I have the one that's just Red November. I, I tend to steer away from scripted stuff because it gets kind of confusing and I just want to move the stuff around myself, but um, it's up to you which one you get. I haven't tried the scripted one. The other one works fine. It's what, like that it, the cards all move for you and stuff? Yeah, like it'll well, not all move for you, but it'll do certain things that are, are scripted. It depends on how well the person scripted the thing, so... I'm back. Welcome back. Why, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I snagged a handful of things. I mean, not that we have to do any of these right now. Honestly, I might board game break anyway, but I grabbed... Um, yeah, I have to get ready for, for bed. It's pretty late, so... Carcassonne, because that was a free epic game. I guess we don't think that one here, but... Oh, yeah, Carcassonne's great. Oh, it is. And it, I don't know if you snagged it what was free on the epic store, but... Uh, yeah. Actually, because it was last week. Yeah, Carcassonne's really fun. Um, if you want, like, a silly storytelling game, Infinity Dungeon's really fun. Infinity Dungeon. Yeah, any of the... <clears throat> any of the um, workshop games that you want to recommend, too, if you want to throw them up in the... Uh... In the Discord too, I'll totally uh, I'll pull them down. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of games that I like that are um, probably too heavy for you guys. Like they're really like crunchy. He's games. saying I'm stupid. Not stupid, <laughs> but if you haven't played a lot of board games before, there's yes, a lot, like I I certainly appreciate a, it. There's a lot of things that will like throw you off <laughs> and be kind of like, what what's going on? I don't even know what's happening. So. Gloomhaven too because I want to learn it. Um, I pulled Hero Quest because I have a soft spot for that game, and then just a handful of card games in here, plus the Pokemon Master Trainer game, which I do want to, I do want to go through. Yeah, Anything the the Gathering related, except for the deck builders. So I did pull the deck builders. Oh, just... for for Magic the Gathering. So the Magic the Gathering thing is a website. And it will produce a file that you can load in as your deck. Because mm -hmm. um, you don't want to, like, you don't really want to uh, um, basically load in every single magic card ever because your computer will crash because you don't have that much RAM. <laughs> <laughs> so you build a deck and then this thing called Frog I, Down. I, I might have enough RAM. You, you may, may, maybe. Right. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I put it in the Discord there. Um, basically, you can uh, you can go to a different website called like tappedout.net or any of these like Magic the Gathering deck building websites. Get a list mm -hmm. of, of cards for your deck and just throw it in there, and it'll build the deck. And you just download the file and load it onto Tabletop Simulator. Right on. So, um, like if you right if you hell. want, you can give me the information like if you build a deck on one of those sites just give it to me and i can get you the file and make it easier for you sounds good I'm, all Ooh, I'm gonna pull the fallout board game i've been wanting to play that just to try it i really don't like the fallout board. Really? it's uh really it's one really long it's like three hours it doesn't make a whole lot of sense Oh, like that's a that. shame. Yeah. A lot of people like Wars it, are... but I think a lot of people like it because they like Fallout, not because it's a good game. Gotcha. What about Star Wars Armada? Is that one any good? I've heard that's good. It's not my style of game, but um, if you like miniatures games where you're moving stuff around and you know doing that kind of stuff, it, it should be pretty fun. Fallout 4 is the best. 
No, f- I'm not talking about the Fallout video games. I'm talking about the Fallout board game. The Fallout board game is board fun. game. It is not. It is not fun. Do not buy it. It is a trap. <laughs> if you want, there's a review of it um, by these guys. Uh, Shut up and sit down. They do pretty funny, like board game reviews. So if you ever are interested in looking okay. up new board games and things, I would, uh, I would check them out. I can oh, hear your like, cat. Yeah, he's trying to get a D and D board game. <laughs> spank. Ooh, I gotta pull that down. That sounds like there'd be some cool shit in there. Pull exploding kittens because you know gotta have it. I grabbed villages because you gotta have that too. What's Deck Quest? You ever played that one? I I've never tried that one. Uh, Coup is a good one. A little short game about murdering people. Good for three or four players. Catan, Settlers of Catan. You said you've never played it. It's a classic. I did not, but I could snag it. Yeah, that one's good. Pathfinder as well. Oh, the Pathfinder Adventure Card Game? I don't know. I haven't played that one, so I, I can't recommend it or anything. I haven't even heard. Like, Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven, I know, is really good, but it's like a campaign sort of game. It's a game you want to play with the same people right. all the time. And there's, I'm not sure how well scripted it is. I'm sure it is because, like, the uh, community for Gloomhaven is, like, people are nuts about the game. So to give an idea of what we're doing Jumanji. right now, we just uh, finished playing, uh, oh, yeah, Gloomhaven in. Totally it's the best. Uh, Quest. We just finished Holy playing crap. I actually used to Tabletop Simulator. Uh, we were playing. Oh, Hero Escape is another one that's really good, but I don't know how much stuff. Monster Bus, I think is what we were playing. Uh, we just finished that, so now we're just trying to decide. This war of mine has a what else game? we're gonna play now. Uh, Weird. Yeah. Evidently. Oh, King of New York is probably one you want. King of New York. Oh, yeah, it. you guys are talking about Yahtzee. King of New York is like Yahtzee, but better because it's Yahtzee with monsters beating each other up, and you get little special cards that give you special powers, so it's a little bit more uh, friendly. Not friendly, but a little bit more like decisions involved. Gotcha. My experience uh, in Yahtzee is someone bought it for me for when I was like seven, and all yeah. I cared about was the cup and the dice. Didn't care about the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you played Munchkin? No. A lot of a lot of people really like Munchkin. It's basically Dungeons and Dragons, the parody card game. Warhammer? Uh, I mean, Munchkin you're on your own for Warhammer. Different Munchkins that I'm seeing on here. Oh, Hero Hero Realms is really good. It's a two-player, um, two-player deck building game. That one's fun. If you uh, if you you played Slay the Spire, it plays a little bit like Slay the Spire, but versus mode instead of um, solo. Okay. I'm just looking through the front page now to see if there's anything interesting. Decisions, decisions. Middle Earth, how is that? Have you tried it? Which one? Journey in Middle Earth. Mm, I've never heard of it. I'm going to snag it just to try it. Epic Spell Wars 1 and 2. What is that? Uh, Epic Spell Wars. Is that the one that has like the art that looks like kind of Adventure Timey on the front? Yes. That one's, yep. um, you guys might like that one. Basically, it's just a, a take that sort of game where you're just like punching each other in the face with cards. Um, but you gotcha. create, you create spells by combining different cards together to make ridiculous looking things. So like every spell will have like a beginning part, a middle part, and an end part. And like the art on every card like matches up with it. It's pretty neat as far as like the art goes. Really? 
it's an okay game. It's not, it's not great, but it's not bad. Gotcha. Fire Emblem trading card game. <laughs> portal chess. I was looking at, I was looking at a portal <laughs> uncooperative cake acquisition game and portal chess. That's a different. Right. Yeah, that's a different thing. That one's actually not bad. I heard it was pretty good. Huh. Give it a shot. I haven't played it, but oh, there's always Cards Against Humanity. That one's that one usually goes well. That was always a fun. Yeah, or you can get the. the... I did pull Cards Against Humanity then. Persona. The there's a Persona Five board game. Remember that anyone can we... make anything on this. So a lot of times these like board game things that look like they're from a video game are just people making a game up. Sure. Gotcha. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that it's bad, but it means that it's, it's fan-made and could be bad. Lords of Waterdeep. Was that... I thought that was just digital. Is that for real? It started uh, out... Yeah, it started out as a real board game. Lords of Waterdeep is pretty fun. <laughs> I like it. Is it? I'll snag it. That one's a little more involved. It's more of a of a heavy game. Mm -hmm. As far as uh games go. It's not just haha play cards. It's like, okay, I have to think where do I where do I want to go and what do I want to do? Right. You'll get caught up in the crossfire. Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They have Hungry Hungry Hippos, not... but it is not the Hungry Hungry It looks awful. That's funny. There's um, a really popular one is actually Tabletop Golf, which is or t Tabletop Mini Golf, something like that. That's ridiculous. Alley Runch. Well, Jeepers. Love Letter is a good one if you haven't played played that. That one's pretty fun. Uh, Sushi Go Party is another good one. Drafting game. A letter. Sushi Go what? Sushi Go Party. That's probably enough for now. Because you're, yeah, you've got this big list of things that you're probably not going to to play. Oh, it was, it was Epic Spell oh. Wars, right? Yeah, that's that is the one I was thinking of. Duel at the Skullfire Mountain. No lack of shit to go through now. <clears throat> Sweet. All right, cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna head to bed. I've got work uh, early, as always. Have fun, sir. And thanks again. Yeah. Uh, Have a good one. Yep. Hope you guys had some fun. We did. Yes, I sir. super appreciate it. I don't know what, what your what your tomorrow looks like, but I'll be down to play something else for sure. Alrighty. See you then. Have a, have a good night. All right, guys. What I'm going to play for the rest of the evening. Are we still playing something together or, or separate? I kind of don't I don't have anything to do with you, to be perfectly honest. Ah, huh, cool. Kind of. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see here. Now, you pulled down Vermintide and Killing Floor, right? Yeah, Killing Floor is still downloading because it stopped because we were playing that game. Uh, actually, Vermintide's also still oh. downloading. Uh, I got oh. Path of Exile. Do you know how to multiplay it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a, it's been like five years since I played it, but yeah, <laughs> that sounds good to me. Then, Path of Exile, it is because what, right. were the, what were the other ones I said? League of Legends and Magic: The Gathering. Oh, I can play for League of Legends. Uh, I'll need to download that, download that one too. Is that one in Steam or something something else? No, that's a yeah, that's a standalone. Okay. That probably won't take too long to download. I mean, for some reason, for night, tonight for Steam, it's downloading slow as shit. Um, 
Well, I'm I'm down for any of the above. Which one do you wait? Which one do you think you want to do? Well, the only ones that I have right now, of course, it downloaded the closed beta client first for Warhammer for Vermintide. Uh, so it has not done the main game yet. Killing Floor still got about twenty minutes. Dude, I got a gigabit connection and it's only downloading at a little over hundred meg a second. Stupid. Damn, dude. I don't know what's going on with Steam right now. I would charge you your Steam service. All right. Fire them. <laughs> Tell them to f- um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all sorts about jumping in Path of Exile. Steam has failed me for the last time. Holy shit. <laughs> Dark labor. <laughs> labor. So squared. Um, what other? No, fuck. I'm down for Path of Exile. I'm down right. for it. I guess I'll just create a new account because I have no idea what my old one was. I might still have it. We'll see. Show my info here. Yeah, let me change mine too. La la la. Swiggity sweet. It's friggin' Path of Exile it up. Any of you guys uh digging around in chat want to get on some Path of Exile as well? Uh by all means. To launch. I am going to uh, hit the Banyo real quick and we'll be right back. I hit it too hard. Trying to see if I still have an old account somewhere. Meh. Let's create a new one. Ooh. Planet 2 newsletter. Man, I haven't seen that in forever. Phones. How do you tangle so easily? This bad boy on in now. Let's bring it on in. Come on, game lunch. Oh, yeah, of course, Killing Floor just like finished part of it, so it's like going slow. Be sweet. Grinding gear Puzzle. games time that I have logged in now to Path of Exile with my level 2 duelist. Ooh, well, I'm starting from zero, I think. Probably won't be zero. It's going to be zero. <laughs> One. Start you at zero, but... Negative eight. One. me and that it's authenticated but it sure is taking a long time to contact the server my authentication for instance transfer was invalid whatever that means oh there there we go uh options oh we did full screen that's convenient you think it's enabled i guess we'll leave all these where it's at
Login. I totally read all of that. I am a fast reader. Reader. Oh. Mo Dude, it does have my shit in here. That is crazy. I have a level knight. Level I have a, I've got a level four shadow and a level nine shadow. I have a level two thing. So if I start, should I start all over or should I just pick my level four or what? We got a character, might as well use him. So you use my level nine? We can still play together if I do that? Sure. Cut out, say it again. Play with you, remember? One more time. Play with you. So it doesn't matter. I don't feel like playing with you. Oh, that's right. I forgot. All right. <laughs> I add you. I bet you that's how. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And what's your character's name? Uh, take a wild guess. <laughs> Steve. Uh, Taco bus. <laughs> I'm logging in still. It's a contacting server. They have to dust oh. off my character. It's on tape drive somewhere. <laughs> I think we found it. Intact. <laughs> <laughs> Your authentication instance transfer was invalid. Me too. Just do it again. All right. I think their server must be acting goofy. Oh, dude. I'm going to use my level four. Uh, my first, my level nine's name, right. the Karis Fox, which is one of my old names. I want to use that shit. Karis Fox? Yep. Hey, I see you online now. Hey. Whisper this player. Oh. It's still logging in, so it may not come through yet. Uses. I've had enough. I've had enough of your excuses. <laughs> it's taking a while. That game's still loading in the background. My drive's like maxed out right now. <laughs> Help! <laughs> yeah. Help and you're screaming me. over here. <laughs> Do not install these on my solid state drive. But these aren't my mechanical. Gotcha. So I, I don't think out. I need to be doing that right now. Really think I have the money to do much of anything. All right, I am on. Look, invisible stuff. That's fun. What about you, Bestel? Looks like I'm dashing. I have no inventory. What happened to all my shit? went our way with one of the seasons really I don't know that's what I'm assuming yeah did you want to try sending me a, another message I have to yeah we don't have to I mean I don't mean to be a inconvenience Jesus I have sent you an invite <laughs> Let me taste those tears. <laughs> We're <Wow>. friends. <laughs> I said you did, but you don't like the pants party. Where do I get the invite? Huh? Uh, hit S for social menu. I just was. I have an invite to party. I invite you to party. So, I can create a party. A way. Create a way. Uh, uh, I didn't get it. on my name and hit 
invite. I don't even. Uh, okay, I'll invite you. And my party. Sent. You get it? And now I'm showing no invitations received. Sons of bitches! I wonder if it's because we're in different places. I wonder if I can visit your hideout. Maybe that will help. Oh wait, what's this thing over here? Open help menu. That's 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 not it. <laughs> it's because we're in different leagues. Well, let's go to your hideout. This. That that did nothing. So how do we get on the same instance? Uh, maybe you have to recreate your character? I'm not sure. No, yeah, because it doesn't really ask you what instance you're supposed to be on, I don't think. Did it ask you earlier? Oh, wait, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Nope, that's not you. That was... Somebody wanting to PvP me. Aha. Uh -huh. Create party. Uh -huh. Let me try this. Nothing? Yeah. I got the old Googler 5000. Absolutely nothing. Anything? Not yet. That's just wonderful. I wonder if we can do it via Steam. Let's find out. I don't even see an option to party in here. Yeah, it would be in game. I don't know. It's Maven. We may even try it logging out, logging back in. I may do that real quick. <sighs> log out and log back in. We're in standard league. What does it say next to my name on the friends list? Uh, it, oh, my inventory just came back. I'm thinking it just has up like a thing where it's still downloading everything. Uh, next to your name, it has Metamorph League. Okay, yeah, because we're in different leagues. I wonder if that has something to do with it. How do you do... I don't even know what leagues are. Um, hold on, let me do some homework real quick. Okay. 
Oh, my shitty inventory. <laughs> While you do that, I'm going to log out real quick and then log back in just to be on the safe side. You can't party with your friend if you guys are in different leagues or ladders. You need to be in the same league as your friend if you want to party up with them. All right, so how do we fix that? How do we fix that? Um, I, I think you have to create a Metamorph League because I didn't even see any option for any other leagues. So it might just be that your character is from an old league and right. it doesn't work. Well, I will just... Uh... A different one then. I'm all right with that. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Damn. <clears throat> Don't you hate pants? Yeah. Totally. All right, create a new character. I'm going to. Can I rename this thing? I'm just going to delete him, I guess. Name it more. So long, Saga. Uh, okay, so leagues. I got standard, metamorph, and a hardcore metamorph. So then metamorph. Yeah, so you are metamorph? Yeah. The only option I had. Okay. Or as I <laughs> I want to say my other character was. Uh, he is a shadow. I'm just going to do the same thing, probably. Marauder. Shadow. Ranger. Duelist. And witch. You were born to be swift and strong. I don't want to be a duelist or a shadow. Is um is uh Vermintide still downloading? Uh, it hasn't even gotten there yet because I'm because it being it's a Steam game, I can't play and download at the same time. So each time we play, it stops. You have is that to download in the background? Does it throw your connection up? Did they add that? Yeah. Oh, where's that at? Uh, let me see if it actually is doing it. Nope, it is not. It paused. Actually, uh, that reason queued up. It is. Did you just call me a cutie? It's downloading now. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, what what job role did you pick? Um. The dude with the hair. So the duelist? Actually, there's two dudes with the hair. Yes. That's... All right. Yeah, the duelist. All right, so I'm going to do a shadow again. You're fucking light story, bro. I need to create... This metamorph. Your goat hat buckler. Yum yum. Yeah, I got a dual wielding. I'm kind of digging that at the moment. Nice. Holy shit, I just died. You have entered the Twilight Strand. I've not seen a wilderness like this before. There'll be some dark days ahead. All right, getting a bow. 
trying to use WSD. Once you get through the tutorial, let me know so that way I can invite you. Okay. It's my birthday party. Ooh! Birthday parties are fun! Press one to view you, or L, I, to press your inventory. Yeah, right. Got it! selling stuff or if this is one of those games that like money comes super easy I do not know I'm just not telling you it's for taint Still in the, <clears throat> in the tutorial? I am. I'm what they call a slowpoke. Oh, you're fine. I'm just curious. Dicks. Moving on. I saw these guys. I have infinite arrows, it seems. I'm still breathing, that's a good sign. Yeah, you leveled up. Uh you can't skill point on you. <laughs> Ooh, what do I want? Evasion and life or projectile damage? Uh, I'm gonna go evasion and life. Oh, I have two. Oh, guess not. Alright. That's my name. Do take like no damage. What's this thing do. I died.
What is this thing? Burning arrow. I guess that's what I'm already using. What? Let's see what letters those are. Hey, question. Uh, if you look down at your bottom, on your toolbars on the right, you've got your main default oh. attack. Uh, and then you've got a space. I got, for me, I've got a blank thing. So what's what's the what's the icon to the right on the top list? What is that a key you hit? Like I know you've got W. Yeah, I believe that's. A what's that? I believe that's a passive. Passive. Gotcha. Thank you. I may be wrong. That makes sense. I believe sense. that's. Watch, lion eyes. Watch. That's where I'm gonna go and trade some shit down. His asshole. What? There's no way to quickly move things over. Oh yeah. Never mind. Is he giving me money or shit? Was there no money in this game? I'm actually doing damage this time. For some reason, last time I did, I played, I wasn't doing any damage. How do I heal? Um, one, two, three, four, or five, depending on. Oh, I see him now. They pretty much skipped that in the tutorial. And this again. So very different. Infinity scrolls. When you put the, uh, uh, little crystal things in the shard, the little shard things in. Can you take this back out or no? Oh, yes. I just figured that. Yeah, okay, you cool. just right click them. Thank you, sir. All right, well, let me put it in this one. Oh, never mind. I should be just about done. I'm just trying to see. <clears throat> I 
Oh, okay. No, that's a portal scroll. Where the hell do you get scrolls of wisdom? You just, like, find? Maybe? I don't know. It's accepted your invite. Thank you. Yo. Um. Oh, you're are you in Lion's Eye right now? Uh, that city, yeah. It's out at the coast, just like the next thing over. I suppose. To, oh, I guess my two my two toy over. Let me at the gate talk to somebody for your reward. Where do I find that person? That must be over here. Talk to Turk Leo. against your god and your fellow man. You have been a willing vessel for the following sins. Pecuniary lust. Operating a house of ill repute without a license. God has charged me with your redemption. You are hereby exiled to Rayclast, where it is hoped mm -hmm. you shall come to repent your sins and make your peace mm -hmm. with your beloved father. in the coast while you're uh okay i'm trying to figure out how to turn this quest in it's telling me to turn it into somebody i'm trying to find them all right i'm stuck on a black screen is there like a map somewhere i know you have the one at the top fine work with hillock Where'd you learn to fight like Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. If you hit tab. Farewell. Ah, thank you. But how, how do I know what's what? Because I don't see anybody in here to turn this thing into. Oh, they're there. Where am I at? Why I'd want to do that here. There they are. Oh. Still alive, there we go. Enemy. <clears throat> Founded by Marseus Lion Eye as a supply station for his campaigns against the Karui. In its day, Lion Eye's watch could be defended by just a small garrison of well-armed legionnaires. What have I got? A handful of starving criminals with driftwood clubs and rusted hatchets. The Eternal Empire has some right nasty leftovers. Whether it's something in the air or in the water, no one stays dead in Rayclast. Not the first time. It can take a little while. But sooner or later, corpses wake up and go looking for breakfast. I've seen many an exile pass through Lion Eye's watch, and many more that simply pass on. Those letters are my way of keeping track, of remembering. Boreath might want to forget us all, but I'll be damned if I will. But there's no money currency in this game, that it's all like tradey stuff. Oh, really?
This is neat. There's a lot to it, man. Yep. Uh, in town, just wrapping up your quest. Yeah. See why I'd want to do that here. Okay. So once I finish that first quest, what am I supposed to do? Uh, Anything? Not real informative. Still yeah, I, was saying, I, I believe I just started going into the next area, honestly. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's all I did. Definitely not very informative. A lot of just wing it. What do you do with scrolls? Um, which ones? Any of them. Teleport scrolls? Uh, I've got like a uh, scroll fragment. Um, f five of those fragments are how you create another scroll. Gotcha. Thanks. Sell shit if you haven't identified it. Yes, you can. Uh, oh. That first person I talked to had a sell option. Uh, Turklay. Stay sharp out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sweet. I've seen you before. Back in Orient. Alright, so these two people have quests. I'm like a frightened rabbit from my father and his gameskeepers. Fleet as a fox you were, even with that leg of prize venison over your shoulder. And from what I saw you do to Hillock, you've grown even faster since then. I'm Nessa. And I suppose I should thank you for ridding us of the I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with them either. Your speed never fails you, Ranger. I don't know. That stands between you and death you kill them off, there's never enough. I just need <laughs> to read. Lion Eyes Watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here, while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for. And there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Tarkley's as good a man as you can find on this godforsaken coast. He has some wrongs to right, no doubt. What they are, I've never asked, and I never will. If not for Tarkley, we'd all be dead. Be well. A ravishing ranger relegated to rot in Rayclast. That's the first line of the poem I'm writing about you, Exile. I'm gonna wait until you finish up the next one. I'm gonna help you catch up to wherever I'm at just so that we were on the same page. Alright, cool. Of the good ship, Mary Gold. Uh, I'm going to Mary just Gold sell the last of the shit I want to get rid of here. But my wits remain after a fashion. <laughs> There's an island. Poor Nessa. Not even a mother herself, and yet she cares for us all. Right, sweet. Now I have to find where the hell you are. I'm still this over. Next. Um, should, if you were just talking to Tark, whoever, uh, I'm, I'm right over to the right, left of that. Just happened. Can't see why I'd want to do that here. To what? Like I was just talking to this person, and there we go. Like, 
For some reason, like, jumped away. Find I see show ally names on your map. Show any life bar above you. I'm not seeing anything that your name up all the time. Uh, if you want, go to where that Tarkley is. I'm standing right in front of him. Yeah, I'm right there. You are? I see. Yeah, I'm not seeing you. I'm like sitting right in front. Let me see. Let me look at your screen. Oh, wow. We're like standing in the same spot. Weird. Almost like we're not in the same instance or something. Fair. Like, do you know what? We're not. How could we be? Because you've, I see that party with those flying things over to the left. I don't see those on my screen. How are we in the same party then? That doesn't make any sense. I know. Zone? Your name is grayed out. So is yours. I have the option to where I can teleport to your location. Well, let me try this. Okay. Oh, there you are. Wait. Okay. So you lead the uh, lead the way then. All right. I have no idea where I'm going. Let me see. Yeah, I can't tell where I'm even supposed to go. Request. Let me pull up the quest log. How do you get to the quest log? Inside of your screen. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Inventory, cosmetics, microtransactions, character screen, passive skill, world screen, social screen, overlay map. Which one of these is? It should be in the top right hand corner of your screen. I mean, I've got it. Yeah, but how do I know where they're at on the thing? Travel to Tidal Island. And find oh, medicine like chest. Going to the coast. All right, I don't know where you're at. Uh, if you if you hit tab so that we've got the full overlay map, you should see um, a little orange uh, like doorway. Yeah. That says the coast. Try to forget where I am on the map. Good grief! This is ridiculous. I see where the coast is, but I don't see where I'm at on it. Didn't used to be this complicated. Mm. Or you could, uh... You see the little blue swirly thing next to my icon? No, I'm at the loading screen. Oh. We'll be there momentarily, hopefully. Mm-hmm. What are you drinking tonight? Again. I've actually been drinking slow tonight. Yeah. Just because I'm ugh. Bushed. <clears throat> Loading times? Uh, it's because that game's installing in the background. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. It's a 50 gig game. <laughs> She's a big one. Yep. Well, my inventory 
chapter's full already. I just got here. I may pause that thing. Okay. Oh, I'm actually... Yeah, I'm going to pause it. It's not really pausing. So you might say it's not possible to pause. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. I don't have a map of here. Killed some shit and just kind of see that. Nice. Uh, that you? Yeah, I was okay. just reading the stats over your. Uh, okay. What you call it? My dude, seriously. It... Actually, I never got to pick my character stuff. What do you mean? It it literally just threw me in the game once I picked my job role and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't get to like pick your avatar or whatnot. Okay. Did I lose you? Nope, I see you. Uh, no, I say if you hit uh, tab, you get the full map overlay so you can see where I'm at. Yeah. Those wet zombies. Dude, rose. Oh, no, you might be able to use Uh, what was it saying? Right here. Click this button to level up your skill gem. Okay. Got it. I'll put it here in a minute. That one looks like Elvis. He is in the building. At least in the sand. <laughs> I'm sorry, what are we supposed to be doing here for your quest? Uh... Oh crap. Find the medicine chest. Oh, I died. Are you able to revive or no? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, no. But you can uh, port back over to me. Okay. Actually, I'm not very far. Okay, let me switch out bows. Oh, actually, it's not any better than the bow I have. How do I port to you? Oh, from where you're where you are, since we're in the same area, you just walk oh, over. Gotcha. Yeah. Drops the weather chest. I wonder if it's because I had killed it uh, previously. Let's try something here. Let's try something. Something over here. Looks like I see a book, anyways. On the map. Oh. 
this. Where do we have to go turn this? Oh, wait, I already turned it in. Never mind. Fuck. Know if we're gonna have to start the area over i'm not sure how that part of it works because i did this i mean technically you ported to me so you should be on my instance did did you do it after you ported to me no and this no i'm not sure how that How do we know it's actually in this area? Where the where that was the, the what you call it, title island. Kong has removed the eternal stain from this coast. The empire's citizens from as well. decorate our meeting yeah. houses with their heads. Our warriors built homes for our families. Our fam Kong has removed the eternal stain. There now, I don't know how you restart a an area. Well, you just want to go to the next area? I guess. Here. In the mud flats. I guess. No, I mean, like, your build. Like, is that what you're going to try and do? Is it all bow? Uh, probably. We'll see. I'll read into this. We're only here a little bit later. You what? I'll read, I'll read more into it here in a little bit later. far did you end up getting last night? I, oh, I, think uh, I, <laughs> I played for quite a while. Um, where did I stop? I'm trying to remember where I stopped at. Holy crap. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. did I stop? Uh, oh, I built my base. Built a... Uh, Jesus, I keep getting ganged up on. Yeah, I was watching you in the base building. I think that's a, that was where I passed out. Yeah. I built my scanner room. What level am I? Uh, I'm level four. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, and I also built my sea truck. So you got your first vehicle out as well? Yep. Are you going to play for tonight? Uh, probably not something I got to work tomorrow. Oh. Good work getting in the way. I tell you, goods ever come out of work. <laughs> We have our team meeting with our VP tomorrow. Fun. Oh yeah. What happened to your nipples? Yeah, I heard you saying something before to Smashy about uh, somebody putting their two weeks. Oh, yeah, uh, that's, a, that's kind of the reason why I'm, I might be going back to days. Gotcha. You know, I'm like out of heels. Almost. And wear some pumps. Walk -a -walk -a. <laughs> why didn't I think of that? still in the same zone yeah i don't know you're just yeah you're just in a different part of the zone i went okay. down to the beach side to try and get these green things gotcha gotcha holy shit i'm gonna die again you better not did not. I told you not. Can you rotate the camera at all? Mm. I don't believe so. Okay. I was unsuccessful. Or I was I was not able to successfully do it when I just tried. Ah uh, shit. Woo! I'm now officially all out of heels. Need some armor. Can I not heal up at all? If I have no heals, I thought I would... I need to go back to town or something because I have to have heals. I think you fill them back up um, as you kill things. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Which I never am. I'm running to you. Uh, There's some person down here. My dude. Come no closer unless you wish to experience what my vials can take first hand. Yeah. I am Tane, a freed man. Grover. <laughs> Grover, huh? Go get in. Heck you, bud. Gotta go back to town, too. Is he fucking waited? Just back to town without having to run. And maybe there is. I know that there's town portals. There's yeah, there should be. Back. Once you get back there, I'm going to port to you. I am going to die here. Or it's going to just, just die and I guess go back to town. Holy moly. If uh, this is Final Fantasy XI, I have a whole party to bring to the uh, zone. 
Excellent. <laughs> Everybody's gonna hate me. Dude, I got a portal. I got a portal. Hold on now. Hold on now. Alright. Oh no. Alright, now you pour it on over to me. Okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. So I don't see an option to port to you. It's right click on you, right? You should see a little blue swirly thing next to my Ah, uh, Gotcha. chick though she had a uh, armor or something yeah, yeah, I've spent it. enough times got a job for you if you're willing it's more than I can give her it's like all women Wait, if it's... If I can't identify it, it won't let me sell it? Drag it over. Huh? Welcome. Yeah, it still will. You just drag it over. It like, won't let me move it. Oh, it did move it. Okay, I just didn't update my screen. That's weird. What's up, Splatty? too much longer but why you don't need school drop out Everybody give a click. Rowers, overgrown chickens with a murderous streak. If you're not careful, they'll tell in your guts out and snap them up like big fat worms. That said, be sure to rifle through their nests if you get the chance. Rowers are like magpies, attracted to what shines. and hunger. Whatever's got inside those folks is not even close to being human. Oh, dang. Bam. That hat Bam. Pestle wears? Bam, 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 bam. Saw him pluck it from the real captain's head right before the cannibals barbecued the poor person. That is, that is a good time for me to go ahead and log now. 
as I am. Yes, I definitely. Need got a gift for telling well, I'm going to call it as well then. But tomorrow, you should have vermitide and killing floor done. So tomorrow, I didn't think she'd survive more than a day. We can definitely get a little cuckoo. She's been true, true. With the crazy. Heard a bard once sing that the fairest flowers bloom. Jumping off Discord here. All right, you have a good night. All right, buddy. You Farewell. Should we pick for a skill here? I'm gonna go with there. Hmm. Let's, uh, we'll go there. Oops. All right, well, this is where I'm going to call it for the evening as well. Thanks again for joining me tonight. Uh, I'll be back on again tomorrow night. Uh, probably around 12.30 or 1. So technically, I guess that would be Wednesday morning. I still call Tuesday night because I go to work. I work until then, I drive home, then I'm on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How long have you been on? Are you just now getting on? Oh wow! I didn't even I didn't even see. It. That's one of the things that sucks about uh, this. I have a time when I look at here. I don't even see the people in there. I got normal. What I was doing before is I would have a monitor up just for chat, but uh, I kind of changed up a little bit. I may go back to doing that, where I on a different screen ring actually see the people in there. Uh, plus, there's also a lot of uh, uh, other outside bots that join it, so it's kind of hard to tell such. Aha, aha, aha. Well, you should speak up. <laughs> Engage a little bit. Although, I should probably do the same too. <laughs> uh, you working tomorrow? Cool. Well, I will see you then. Three to one? Okay. Okay. I'll be there noon to 11, the normal time. All right. Well, have a good night. Good night, all. Thanks.